What up, podcast people? It's the one and only legend running, aka Low. We're here with another episode of Peer to Peer Podcast. We have Agent Zero here. Say what up. What up? We have John here. Say what's up. Rada, rada, rada. That's interesting. Let it out, Nico. There you go. I like, express yourself. And then, no. and then finally, it's we therapy. have we have a, almost a, a, a um a norm now. Like you're just you're here so often, you might as well just be a co-host at at times, Sneeko. <laughs> To un un you know unpack some more things. I that wish I, no, honestly, in your life. I wish I had like a, a podcast like this. I, w- I wish I was a co-host on here. I've been trying to start my own playback channel. Like, like nobody can really like talk about stuff. Yeah. Everyone has like such a shallow level. Like when you talk to try to try to talk to a dude about like issues. Yeah. Like, eh, 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 eh. So eh, you know go, I mean? yeah. it's hard to find like the balance, of, like anyone actually giving an opinion before they just like start making fart jokes. So, yeah. so Sneeko, we, 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 you've been here long enough to where we know, you, you know, everything, you know, the Nody gang, 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 you know, the uncut, uh, hopefully there'll be things that you reveal today that can get on our uncut Patreon shit. Uh-huh. Um, but Sneeko, I just want to get right into the meat of it, man. Right into the thick of things. What, what happened? What's the update? Why are you here, man? Um... <laughs> The way he's talking is hilarious. What you, that's, there has to be a reason I can't just hang out with my yeah, pals. You are, I mean, are you, are, you, are you just hanging out? I'm just hanging out with my yes. pals. Ah, 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 just hanging okay. out. Have a relationship that has recently fizzled down. You don't say. But <laughs> I'm just here in Atlanta having fun. But that, that's not the. That's not why I'm on the podcast. That's not okay. what I'm here okay, to talk about. And that's not what the title is going to be. Well, let's tackle that first. Not. Let's yeah. tackle that first. Let's, let's just dive into that. Let's dive into that first. Oh, okay. And then we let's can grab we can, on it and toss yeah, it to the ground. And then we can just get into, you know, other things okay. while we're chilling. What since we're, happened? And how did it fizzle down? And be, and be detailed. Don't. I don't. I'm not sure how in detail. Like, what do you mean? How did it fizzle down? Like, like you said, it fizzled down. I hate when those people. Are the words. <laughs> those are the words. Those are the words. You know, you, you know nah, he has. There's always a million reasons why a relationship. Fails, Yo, put like, the mic in your mouth. There's always dog. a million reasons. Don't pause, bro. I'm not in my mouth. No, like but here. everybody gonna have to hear what you have to say this time, man. Okay. So what you? Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I know it's cold outside, but your feet are medically dangerously <laughs> ashy. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> this is that's a problem. <laughs> Frosty. I'm sorry. I'm looking. I'm like. The, a- a- bro, the, fact, the aperture, bro. The fact that it did flurry, the, the fact that it did flurry earlier today is crazy. For real? Yeah, it did. Oh wow! You're gonna change it to the we weather. Tell you ran through it, Sneeko. <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? Uh, I, it, I mean, in my tone. opinion, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about something. Bro, I don't, bro. It's a loaded question. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I just thought, bro. Even though I'm 28, bro, my feet look like they're 88, nigga. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> my yeah. feet look like they're look damn near leather. Line. Yeah. Top and bottom both. Yeah. All right, so Sneaker, what happened? Going, what, going. what happened in this relationship? What happened, man? Um, What happened, man? This sound like, la- let's also leave a, a rap. Up, I think that's too big of a question. No, no, no. I know, yes. Yeah, 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 let, yeah. Let, me, let me do a rap. So I, no, let's do a rap for where we were at before. So okay. last time I'm you were sure here. I'm not sure how much I said on this. And they're, 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 oh, I can remind you. I remind you. So last time you was here, you were you and your girl was experimenting with life, man. Y'all were fucking in front of other people. She was getting fucked in front of you. Y'all were really well, I mean, trying that, it. That's the I went with the because that's don't how forget I, the guy slipping under yeah. under the ball. I mean, oh yeah, I and you got your you got your balls you have slipped. Your reaction like that, but like it was uh, it's it's a sex party. It's like a, it's an orgy. That's, but that's, that's what happened though. Let's not yeah. act like that's okay. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So y'all that's was so remember, open yeah. with each other. That's not why the relationship didn't work out. No, though. but I'm just saying that's what we was at last time. You were so open with each other. Yeah. So how does that? I mean, how did you go from being that open with somebody? That <laughs> honest, that vulnerable with someone to to not you work out. Happy that my open relationship. No, he likes it. He's got a valid, he's he's simple ass monogamous he's relationship. Ecstatic. Your weird, whoa, relationship didn't work, and the mind is right. Like, damn, bro, no, I'm not saying it's right. I'm trying to figure out what happened. But man. you're too happy that it failed. And no, no, you no, are, you I, are smiling I, ear to no, ear. Too happy. <laughs> this is my guy. He's here. We're <laughs> talking, man. <laughs> what happened, man? You have like but a personal attachment to this because it's it's completely opposite. This is where this is where a legit therapist will come into play. Sneagle, let's get back on. Let's, let's get back on. What path. actually? What actually did happen? Like, what what happened? No, if we well, if we nuggets. sat down, if me and my my ex girl like we sat down and actually talked to a therapist, that wouldn't even be the problem. The problem would be like communication things, jealousy, arguing. Mm. Like okay, so let's let's start with the relationship. Let's one at a time. Communication. What were you not communicating, or she wasn't communicating to you? What what happened there? 
in my opinion, well, the biggest thing was just like, it was just too much stress, like too much arguing. And, and that wasn't anything How specifically often about is her. arguing? It was like, like twice a week. So like sometimes oh, out well. of nowhere, like, you know, even, and I, I would see her very often. You see your girl like how often? Like twice a week, once a week? I see mine. I live with mine every day. So I, I, see, I see her I used to talk, every day. I see mine twice. Shut twice. the fuck up. Shut up. Twi- how often you, were you arguing? Shut up. Stop. 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 That's why I ended it. What, he can't talk in relation? Huh? No, because you he ended your, Hold on, hold on, hold on. You ended yours because you, you argued a lot? It was stressful. It was stress. Well, I'm glad you're first, first of all admitting it was he a relationship. Admitted he was in a relationship. But before no, I, was in relationship. I was in a t- heavy talking stage. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was heavy talking. You ended heavy talking because you argued too much. Yeah, yeah because we were exclusive. That's a relationship. So that's a relationship. No, so you're your relationship heavily failed talking. because you weren't open. Huh? Your relationship failed because you weren't open. No, 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 no. She didn't like the open stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know where you find them at. Just let me know. Then you got to so- train them. I, you, they're everywhere. Oh, they're dogs. You, you need to teach. They, they're <laughs> disobedient, God, and then you need to train one? them. Yeah. Damn, oh. that's right, so you, can't teach a, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. You nah, know. you got to get a puppy. Yeah, I got to get a puppy. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> Sneeko. A fucking Sneeko, stop it, Sneeko. A legal, a legal puppy. <laughs> a a <laughs> legal. <laughs> Classic yeah. sneak on. Oh, okay, okay. She was, right. She's ten months younger than me. It's not. So okay, when okay, you okay, so um, the communication problem. You said it was stressful. What? Ooh, 10 months? What was um? It, you so, know, we you don't you don't have to. We can do this at a time, so you don't have to say everything that you want to say. But like, no, you know, so I'm willing to talk about something. So when you say communi- communi- communicating, things. like, what do you what do you mean by that? Like, what exactly was it being communicated with you two? Um, I actually, I think the biggest thing, which has like been my communication problem with most people, is people think I'm a dickhead when I'm not really being a dickhead. Like I just come off like kind of aggressive and abrasive and I'm just joking around and then people take offense. Like she, she was, I'll, I'll talk about this one. She was like applying for a job. And then I said, she was like fiending to get a job. Like just joking. Like, yeah. And then she didn't get a job. Yeah, three, I, three applications in one day. You know, now she thinks of that I'm like making fun of her, like saying, Oh, you're not supporting me when I'm trying. And like, yeah. and then it was just stress. Like, Oh, now I have to argue about this. And now she's upset and I need to deal with this. And that's time consuming as fuck. Like that could be like a four hour thing. One miss her joke is a four hour. Like me making you feel better. Like, I'm yeah. sorry. Trying to get what you was back. the solution for that. None. Just get over it every time. And then it's just frustrating after a while. Like, Oh my fucking God again, like another problem. And it's like, it's, it's not only one person's fault. It's both. Like I could be less of a dickhead, I guess. Yeah, it's just, just like so the tones were just a bit different in a way that you. But sometimes it be over text. It might, it might like, just. I feel like that that specific situation was more out of insecurity than it had anything to do with you, because because in reality, maybe she just wasn't comfortable with the fact that she wasn't working and she applied for a job and you made fun of it. Like for some, okay, this is gonna sound crazy, but uh, I actually can't make some jokes around certain people because they're in a situation where they're not secure about it and it's gonna offend them. Yeah, I didn't know that. I don't yeah. think about that all the time. And, like, that's my way of getting... Like, when someone makes a joke or, like, makes fun of something that I'm insecure about, immediately mm-hmm. I start feeling better. Because mm-hmm. then it's out. It's, it's, it's in the open. That's why I think it's better to do therapy here. Just put it out, you know? Fuck it. Mm-hmm. I make jokes about everybody. Yeah. It just depends how I feel afterwards. I feel bad sometimes. But the joke must be said. Because I don't like holding it in. <laughs> it must, you know it must be said. It must be said. It must be said. There's no other option. I got it said. If, if, if I see three of y'all and I know I can't tell you my funny joke... But I know I can tell Caleb, and he's not going to judge me about it. I'll run all the way to Caleb to tell my <laughs> funny joke and come back. This Did that ever happen with you and your girl? Did you have to hold back jokes or something like that? Or like censor uh, yourself? No, nah, no. Nah, she liked my jokes. She <laughs> just didn't like the fact that I was liked by other women. She didn't like that open, that open thing. And she thought I was doing more stuff than I was doing. But granted. She ever looked at your phone? No, uh, no. Nah, nah, never did that. She ever get mad about you liking some girl's posts on Instagram? She did get mad about that, yep. What about that? Was that happening with you as well? Yeah, all the, yeah, that happened to you too, right? Yeah, yeah. Wait, it's normal again? female she, behavior, like getting mad that you, oh, you. Why would you like this bitch's picture? No, that's never. I got trapped one time. What happened? Like she asked me, like, I uh, I liked the picture, right? It was a good picture. She, it was a. I bet it friends. was. Yeah. She went on vacation. It was mm-hmm. a friend. No, it was a friend of mine. Oh, a friend. But of she yours. doesn't know that. We just started. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I liked the picture and whatnot, but I guess she knew her. So she saw my name pop up under the what's it called. So I was like, she, she, so she did me later. Now I know that's why she did me, but she did me. She's like, what does it mean if a guy likes a girl's picture? So she just asked me that. So I'm thinking she's talking about <laughs> hypothetically. her. Yeah, hypoth- no, I think you're talking about her. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I like this guy like a picture. So me not thinking, I'm at, I'm at work at the time. So I'm parking car and not thinking. I'm not on my P's and Q's on my player shit. You know what I'm saying? Like thinking like she probably trying to trick me. I fell into it, the trap. I was like, oh, it means this. So she's like, what, what if she likes two or more pictures? 
I like two of my pictures. <laughs> so she was, I said, oh, he trying to fuck. How do you not see us a trap at he this point, bro? And I, huh? You got a peep game at that point. No, I'm I'm ballet and I'm <laughs> working. That, like, and I'm just typing back and forth. I thought this is going to get me in. Now I was going, I had something planned afterwards. But it backfired too early before I realized it was a trap. When I did realize it was a trap, she was like, I'm talking about you. I'm like, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing along with it. I'm at work right now. She got mad about that. <laughs> Uh, I took that one on the chin. I was like, damn. Okay, so, Sneaker, we, we unpack the um, communication. It sounds like a lot of maybe um, bad tone and insecure, um, some rhetoric. That I can hear that you've been going to therapy more, Roy. You sound like a therapist now. I just, you know, I like to just talk things out. So what was the other problem that you were trying to juggle in your relationship? Um, and the open thing also became a big problem. Like, oh, you don't jumping, say. jumping. Well, I, the, I say the problem was not really the, <laughs> the actions, the actions, but more like, like, like John said, like John's like, how do you find these girls? Like, you don't, you, you need to turn them. And oh. so I knew what I was comfortable with and I expected her to like already get to my level. Mm-hmm. And it's not that easy. Well, you she need was to, going to sex parties. Yeah. Yeah. I know you need to gradually. That's hard. But do, was yeah. she comfortable with the sex parties? Or? Before, before me, no, bro. And even she said after, like, uh, she said, if we break up, like, I can never be in a, a monogamous relationship again. She said Why? That. Because, like, just of the way I explained it and my idea of it wow. and, like, her openness with it. Like, I changed her ideas of relationships so she, forever. But that so doesn't make any sense. No, if, so if she don't agree with it. It's not cheating though. Like it's it's not. If cheating. he doesn't agree with it, it's cheating. Then she won't be in a relationship. I don't think. Oh, yeah. so she got to find another sneako. Well, every guy is a sneako, bro. Every guy wants an open relationship. What? I don't well, believe y'all, bro. You are right. Every guy wants an open relationship. It's more of us and less of them. So you need to tell her to build more of hers. If more guys do what I'm doing, then there's going to be more like great oh. girls walking around ready to be. The next guy who dates her, like lucky ass guy, trained oh. her. She's ready. Do you want to be in an open relationship? <laughs> huh? Do you want to be in an open relationship? <laughs> no, I don't want to be in an open relationship. He doesn't want to be open I, I want a girl that's open with other girls. No, no, that's not what we're talking about. You just want threesomes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just want to three, three, threesomes. Mine, nigga. I, I, you want threesomes, nigga. That's but even that, saying. even that is you have to coach a girl to be into that too. My girl, like she wasn't into threesomes or stuff like that before me either. But he's but not. He doesn't. He doesn't, doesn't want an open relationship. Like, like you trained her, so we all got to coach her. is open. Huh? But no, like you trained her, so I have to coach. So if if she goes on a coach and make a tour of what are you girl saying? Love girls, I have no idea what you're talking I don't know about. What right now. A girl love girls tour. You tell her to make a tour. Go on Facebook. Are you just chatting, bro? I don't know what he said. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I, don't I, don't know what yeah. okay, okay. I want to hear your thing. So you're saying, all right, so what was wrong with the open relationship with That her? I assumed that she'd be okay with everything, and I was, like, sometimes too open. And I'm like, all right, like, now I'm not really treating you. I, I would look back and, like, yeah, you're my girlfriend. Like, I could have been more, like, sensitive to how this what, would affect Like, what were you doing specifically? Like, you fucked somebody, you, you told her, like, I'm fucking somebody tonight? No, 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 no. I, I wouldn't, I would never say anything, bro. I'm not dumb. Like, I'm not going to intentionally make her feel bad. But, like, if we would go out together in, like, Puerto Rico or we went to Mexico with John and Waleed. And yeah, like, what? If, uh, no. Yeah, she was there. Like, they, and <laughs> if we're in a club or something like that, like, sometimes I'd, like, give other, I would, like, hang out with other girls, like, Dan, and, it's she doesn't feel as special when I when I did that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like she wants she so wants, she all wants it to too. be open but not in, in front, front of her. her. Yes. She was all she was down with in front of her stuff too, but sometimes I would like I she said You're going too far type shit. Yeah. Okay. And I, I see that. Okay. She, what do you mean you okay. ODing? I'm like I'm like ah, I got over there. anything goes, but like at the same time it's still your girl. Yeah. You know? I see what so, you're saying. Damn. So you got to that's you got to be careful with that. I see. I do you do you think bad. do you think some of the boundaries could have been communicated a little bit better to prevent her feeling a bit insecure about the open relationship? No, we we definitely did it so much communicating yeah, like about it. It's so so fucking much. It was it was a lot of work, especially after the last problem. Yeah, bro. Like we that was like that <laughs> relationship lasted a year, and we were we were like I probably gave her like a third of my time for a year. It was mm. so much work to that relationship. Bro, that relate it was a lot, bro. bro. You got to be single for a minute. Really, yeah, I know that yeah. that was the biggest wake up call. I was listening to like Mr. Beast yeah. on Joe Rogan, and like even think about like well, how I didn't watch that. Yeah, how was it? You got to watch it. It's just it, it just seeing how like robotic he is. Like to be successful and to get to the top, like you can't have any emotional attachment to anything. Oh, like it literally hey, it needs to be like Mr. Beast no, no, no. is literally in a relationship. If you wanna if you wanna succeed, you really think she's happy with how much time she gets? One hundred percent not. Exactly. No, there's like, no way she's she, happy about you it. You know, like you ever hang around a girl like or you you're around your girl and like you're working and she kind of like acts like you're cheating on her when you're working yes when yeah. you're giving her too much attention to your work yeah yeah like imagine like what he has to deal with for that like he's not she's not completely satisfied and it is what it is but like as long as that's communicated in my opinion it's like bro, i know but she's always going to be on your ass she's always gonna and that shit really bugs me like when my girl's mad i can't focus on anything else i can't work you get what i'm saying so i was like li- listening to that podcast and like seeing how you like totally shit on that girl uh in the amp video today like oh i would oh, never yeah. date you 
Like it would just not be worth my time. Like because you're you're you a business minded person. I didn't yeah. say it like that. Like business minded. He did oh, say it like wow. that. I did but not he, say but that. he's. I've heard you say similar things. Things. What did you say then? What did you say then? Okay, it's so in the there's video. an AMP video. Well, they're not going. It's not out yet. It probably won't be out for a couple of weeks. Knowing our editing team, but um, at the end of it, there was somebody that um, I was there with, mm. and we were supposed to flip a card to see like who she was fucking with the most and who I was fucking with most out of everybody there, mm-hmm. and uh, she had me. But I didn't have her. And I just explained to her that um, I, I didn't know how to say it in the nicest way possible. But I, but in reality, when I, I can't tell people I'm busy, they, they'll think it's their version of busy. No, I literally do 18-hour days every day for an entire month, and it's no problem for me. That's not an exaggeration. This is what I do. Mm-hmm. But she, won't, she doesn't think that that's possible because that, who does that? I'm fucking crazy enough to do that. But it is what it is. But I just said, like, in reality, like, I just don't think I'd take anybody out like here on a date outside of like this video here and like she was cheese i'm not gonna lie she was highly upset about it but um and i think mainly because it was embarrassing but i see what you're saying and we we talked about that before like, like what am i supposed to say when you're in a um i'm supposed to lie yeah that was pretty harsh though yeah I, I asked kai what i should say and i was like kai i wasn't being rude he's like no he wasn't being rude we was just gassing that was harsh, it. Right, believe? no there was him being honest i just want to say he's he's so busy that it took him five weeks to pay me it takes 40 mm. seconds. Bro, it's yeah. fine. Everybody else I know gets paid a monthly, bro. Look at this guy. Wants his yeah. weekly payments and shit like that. Five. He did say five weeks. That's, five weeks. that's over a month. I know. I know. I was late. Yeah. <laughs> he got paid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but, but I, I head, agree with you because we've had that conversation like um, with several people. Like, I don't think that it's not most worth people. It. Yeah, most it's people not. wouldn't even want to live that lifestyle anyway to be with someone who's that oh, it is. busy. Even though they're hyper successful, the level of commitment that they have to have to their craft. But it's but it's also like it's double dipping though because it's like the fact that I'm this busy. The reality is I'm going to be further along in my career as a result. And then you get to you know enjoy the benefits, the fruits of, of the labor. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, but, sure. that, but that's what we're saying. Like, I don't, but, but most people are opposite in the moment. Yeah. And girls need to be entertained every five seconds. Yeah. Entertain. Okay. So you have they do, bro. Hour work in a relationship, you need to be a comedian, a provider. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be adventurous, fun. Like, and she just needs to show up and be pretty. It's nice not fair, mean. bro. They, had, so did, that, has your girl ever are, like set up a date or like yeah 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 but like in general like I started going on fucking hinge dates and shit like that recently just like they got fucking nothing to talk about bro the girl, girls now like my they bro they talk about nothing mm. what, what, I'm what not gonna lie that's been like that's been my dating experience like, Jesus Loki. Christ bro like just shut huh and yeah, just like, like, like dating app. She's talking about like the energy connecting with their spirit and how like she's older and the wisdom is connecting. How old is she's she? like creating a ball with her hands and she's like 26 and I'm just like, oh no, my that's God. you're too old to be doing that. I would have got that Jesus ball Christ, of energy and bowled it. But they all yeah, kind of believe that shit regardless. They all believe in astrology. And, they all believe that they're is, special. <laughs> the girls all live in a movie in their head, bro. Where they're the main character, they don't do anything wrong, they're morally good, they're the star, and these are side characters. Having main character syndrome is one of the most disturbing things. Jeez. I don't know if you've really met somebody like that, but I've, I've actually met someone who suffers don't from that you think like that believing shit. in astrology is main character syndrome, that you're special no, based on the main, behavior? No, main character syndrome is like... <laughs> Low-key is, bro. And my personality is the stars. No, like, main, the main character up, syndrome bro. is like, Harry like you sat there and said like a movie, like you... you you walk in a situation already running in your mind with a script that's almost going to look like. And who's and it's right and all, who's wrong. It's all, yeah, it's all Have, have you ever met a girl who really took accountability for her actions? Yeah. Uh, yes. You're laughing. Have you, like, a girl who's really owned up to what she did? No, like, and, like even when she fucked up, no. like, I was drunk. No, nah, like, not, not I, I was on my pier. I was just... Get it out of her. Huh? You had to push but it that doesn't but count. She never like she that never says like you know what I fucked up. No, if you gotta you beat it out of somebody, that doesn't count, bro. If you gotta trap them until they have no choice but to admit their not faults, trap them, it is but tr- you got, they have to know they caught. A girl that's not fucked just, up. That's yeah, not them not, owning up. That's not them being accountable. That's them having no option. That's them being sorry because they can't find another way. They only have accountability in the early stages. Where it really don't they matter. never, bro. Girls no. never take accountability. They, they're I, never. They might be the least honest, amount of accountability. I think, I think humans in general don't take accountability for errors. In general, I think. Yeah. I, I honestly don't think I'm, I. I think I dated one woman that like I felt like was highly accountable. Like she would fuck something up and be like, "I fucked it up," but she would fuck too many things up for me to be around her. Mm. So let okay. me let me let's let's ask 
Let's ask you, Sneaker. What are, what are you accountable for, accountable for in that relationship? That I just relationship. said everything. Like I just said that I could be a dickhead. That I was being too od with the openness. That yeah. I could probably been more sensitive. Like that's me being accountable. I was probably too much of a dickhead in your time. You know. Okay. Now, one of the other things you mentioned was jealousy. Now, in an open relationship, it's almost impossible for people who've never been in one to imagine there's no jealousy involved. But that's like, not what he said last time. No, he no, said no. that. You said, I'm saying you said it takes to start this, he said communication. No, 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 no. I'm saying what I'm saying is when we highlighted the possibility of jealousy in the last podcast, he made it seem. So how like did yeah? How did jealousy play a no, role? No, je- jealousy happens in relationships with or without the openness. I get that, but when you when you're open though, like the the likelihood of that happening is much higher than it would be. I don't think so. I think it, it the jealousy oh. kind of like like looms over a monogamous relationship more because you can't really act based on how you want. You stop. You restrict yourself. Based on the other person's feelings. So, where was the jealousy coming from in your relationship since it was open? Then, like, um, well, I got jealous a couple of times. Like, she she went on a date, um, like, right after Christmas, and I had COVID, so I couldn't, like, I, I had to leave my family. Like, I I spent Christmas alone in my crib. Yeah. Um, and so I'm alone in the crib, and then I, I got like an at home COVID test, and right before then, like, I we I linked up with my girl and we exchanged presents. Yeah. But like, I had two masks on and shit, and then I get the at home COVID test, and I'm positive, or no, I'm negative, I'm good. But she's on a date right now. Mm. And so like I'm alone at the crib I didn't see anybody in days I didn't see my family I was Christmas alone And now my yeah. girl's on a date Like And I have her location And she's like five minutes away From the crib And I'm <laughs> fucking bugging out bro Like there's no reason I'm not The only reason I'm not with her now Is That she thinks I have COVID But she doesn't even realize That I'm, that I'm negative And so I pull up <laughs> I pull up to the date And she leaves And like uh, No what, You what, fucking what, showed up Well I told her I'm picking you Like I told her Like I'm negative I want to see you Yeah And like, she ended the date She Yeah Well I mean not right away, but uh, pretty much, yeah. I picked up at like. Why nine, did nine you think you were obligated to that? Since I didn't. I, was being really, I didn't think I was obligated to that. I knew that that was like some jealous. Babe. I was acting like that whole thing. I was in my crib, fucking bugging out, bro. Looking at her location, like. How did that make you feel? Out. I was jealous as fuck, bro. I mean, but like, more, more, it was what would you do the other way around? Say you were a baddie, super bad. She about to give it to you. <laughs> five minutes to close, and she pull up. Like I'm ready, Sneeko. Come see me. I will come up with an excuse. I will. I would probably just be like, oh, "There's a leak." And I gotta fix it. Give me a sec. A leak where in the restaurant? In my dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry, oh, oh, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Classic. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. were there times where she was jealous uh, because of? Uh, you mentioned the one like in the club um, where you were dancing on other women, but you mentioned that was you just being OD. Were there times you weren't being OD, but she was Yo, jealous? That, that was the whole relationship. Like I'm not gonna oh. lie. Like in, I don't want. I don't want to make it seem like a crazy person, but like, bro, like I don't want Instagram likes. Instagram like, likes bro, sometimes crazy. I'd be like doing a street interview and I, if I talk to a girl too long, she'd be huh, huh, like while I'm editing and now I'm in a two hour fight while I'm editing at midnight because of the girl I'm talking to on the screen right now. So not only like, am I not going to upload the video on time, <laughs> but now I have to delete, I'm deleting no, that part of the video. I think that's like, um, See? I don't know how to explain this, but like, no, the deleting part of not the video. Yeah, yeah, like, now I'm deleting, 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 deleting my video. work for you. And that, that's, that's what happened to me. That's when I decided the relationship needs part, to end, bro. Deleting deleting part you. You. I she she Academy. She remember what you, was you didn't about? go to Riz Academy because you was talking to a girl in a heavy talking stage, but exclusive and not in a relationship, right? You said like, you said a lot too fast. Like, heavy you know talking, but you know, yeah, your situation. Heavy talking stage, yeah, yeah, but exclusive though. Huh? But, but exclusive, exclusive, but not yeah, in a yeah. relationship. Okay, that's what I was working. But that I was, was enough for her. her. I was trying to build her trust. Is it's that crazy. why you didn't go to Riz Academy? That's why I didn't go. I was trying to build her crust. Nigga, her trust on a, a because I'm going on the show. I'm trying to wait. Just because I'm already on the bird. Bro, you are confirming. You are confirming her belief, bro. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. How? You have been making fucking content for like how long now, John? How long you been making content for? Two years. Okay, and what's your dream? But to be an actor. And how are you gonna get there? Making content, that's the answer. So Make how the content. fuck are you going to tell her, let her, t- come yeah, on, Yeah, that's what I'm bro. saying. That's when it fucks up. How you going to let her get in your way? Agent and Mr. Beast doesn't do that shit. We, like, we're horny dudes. Like, we're going to, that will, like, distract but us until we die. But he can get sex anywhere, though. I know, but, like. I know, and that's, that's what she thought, too. I'm going to go on, on Kai channel and ri- I'm going to really riz them up. I'm not going to have No, I believe you. Friends. I believe you could have one of them and that then, night I'm if a, you wanted to. But I was trying not to fight temptation. Wait what? What? I was trying to fight temptation. Nigga, I'll just don't you're fuck him. You're that, proving her point. Yeah, but, uh, I was like, no, yeah. but you're also proving her point. Do you saying, really want to? You're, it's what, not like what? you don't want to. You want to, but you're just stopping but, because but of what, her. What we're yeah, saying yeah, yeah. So, so really, really, to really yeah. prove the point that you should have went, did what you did, and then left to prove the point. Like, yo, if I really wanted what point to, what does that prove? 
It proves it, that, know that. I, it proves that you do what you want to do. Exactly. And that she can't stop you from doing Bro, what you want to do. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's, oh, that's, you and, that's, and that's why I, I was I did that to prove a point to her that I'm actually sure. I was But like, it's, a, it's a bullshit point because you really want to. Bro, yeah. that means every time there's a video that's female, there could be a woman just in the vicinity, and that's enough. No, 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 for, no yeah. that's different. She don't care about girls in the video, but nah, like, bro. She was the, like, What's the video? Girls I know how to go it's, it's a slippery slope, bro. You never stop. That's like if you never stop. Let's say, like, if Lowe shows up too late to a podcast he would never do that but if he did and we didn't do nothing about it yeah. he would start showing up late to every podcast do right about it. he's late every time exactly so what is your point no Th- that's this what's happening this in your no, relationship no, no 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 this this is this is the point bro if you don't show up to the fucking um riz academy shit yeah. with the women there's never a moment where she where you actually can display the fact that I'm, you legitimately I'm saying if you knew the situation i'm in before previous let's, let's say the facts previously I wasn't doing videos with no girl when she met me. I was doing basketball videos and funny stuff. No, songs. I believe you. And then when I met her, she got mad because of other girls and other p- p- potential Bro, you can't, and shit. It's like that. I'm telling I, you right I now. get that, but you still... You I know what I can do. I was trying to make it work. I was trying to show that... And but I know, but, but listen listen to what we're saying, though, bro. If you keep going down the path of... Because if those are legit... Like, it'd be one thing if that wasn't the type of videos that you were ever going to create, but those are the type of videos you're going to be involved with. If you go down the path of, like, limiting yourself... To feel to like make sure she's comfortable. A, you're going to be a, at a massive cap, and she's never actually ever going to feel comfortable because she never actually been in a in a situation where you are around women, and then you actually don't do anything. If she if she keeps removing you from that situation, she's actually never getting. She's just subsiding from it. I don't it. have to be in the presence of a girl to get a girl. That's well, not the point. But that's not the point that I'm making, John. John. Jesus Christ. You're, just, just, you're trying to... You're, hey, you're, you're, you're having an ego trip right now. You understand because he deleted the footage when he was editing. You understand when you... No, I, I realized I fucked up. I like, should have done that because I, that's I, not solving that the too. problem. I should have been not, on that shit when I fucked up. Yeah, exactly. But it's not, it's not say solving, solving the problem. problem. But it's not I wasn't thinking with my head. I was thinking with my feelings and with my dick one. And what we're saying is that that doesn't solve the problem because you. not only did you give... It doesn't. I know I was wrong. I was thinking with my dick and my heart. Okay, okay. Right. In my head. Yeah, in my, that's actually it why. Was a bad I'm, decision. I know. That's why I'm pessimistic about relationships in general. Not that you can't have a relationship and be like. But you're at the level where this is your bread and butter. It's it's your way or the highway. No, that's that should be the way for me too. But I still like, bro. Yeah, she, yeah. You it too. drains you so much of my too. fucking time, Low? bro. Yeah. Well, luckily, I don't. I'm not. I'm not in constant like Riz Academy videos. I just make basketball videos for the most part. I want to. I want to be like doing Riz videos all the time. <laughs> yeah, but you like this. <laughs> no, but you don't be I don't, with. I don't mean those type of videos. Yeah, I'd be great at those, bro. Huh? <laughs> How did you meet T? Online. Oh yeah, that makes sense. What up? Um, Bumble. Uh, Classic. No, I'm like, you don't be around them in Classic. person. You don't do videos with them. So how did you? Yeah, how would you meet somebody ideally? Yeah. You don't. So you don't, you don't have Bumble. to you have to worry about you doing. <laughs> no, I mean, outside of like online dating, like there's no way you can meet somebody. Because you I'll don't leave your house. How about you do what? Just pop gas out. station? You pop out where? No, we got a Tesla outside, now. Outside. Where, where outside? I still go to the gas station. Where outside? Where, where, outside? where, where, outside? where are you going outside? You, you still go to the gas station? Yeah, I still go to the gas station. That's how like, bored he is. Just to just to be a tourist? <laughs> no, just get like a drink. Oh, so you see like the little the clerks. Nah, you're bored. Nah, you're actually bored. Because <laughs> you can go on Instacart. You know that, bro. You know you can get DoorDash. Or you can, no, no. If I'm, already, like, if I'm already driving, like you, today, you I was DoorDash already... DoorDash a drink? Yes. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. That's, and, and that's, Christ, that's crazy. And you make it MC seem insane for not... No, that's you see what I'm saying? That's the level those, you at. No, 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 those are my marked up level. products. Why would you spend extra bread on gas station shit if you could just get them at the grocery store? They're like 10 cents more. What are we talking about? No, they are not, bro. Stop. All right, fine, but fine. But you still... What I'm saying is... I just make up a number. No, what I'm saying is I still pop out to go. Do anyway, whatever. Like that. Yeah, it just it's weird because you're in a Tesla. Everyone's gonna think you're pretentious. Like, oh, you're just visiting the high gas prices today. <laughs> I didn't. That's actually know. what he does. He tweets every yeah, day. Look at the you made a video, on didn't you? On Twitter, you live tweeting gas prices on Twitter. Twitter Tesla. Yeah, I put a video on Twitter yeah, like yesterday. Him, him and his Tesla at the gas station. That was my first time actually seeing the gas prices in months. Yeah, they're crazier in other in other states yeah. too. I don't even. But anyway, all that I say that's that's the reason why I was originally pessimistic. I think you kind of had to find a very special type of woman that is interested in living that type of life, won't get jealous, bored, or just find a reason to get upset. Because in reality, you're not spending that much time with her. You well, can't. John okay. said it's, it's not my way or the highway. 
<laughs> no, I, I genuinely <laughs> this, is why, <laughs> this is why all relationships fail is, is because of what you said. No, but look at look at this though. The, the point I'm trying to make man, though, right? Because it the, it has to trickle down from you. It has to be because he's a man, the right? Man's happiness has to be put first. Hey, bro, like I got to talk some regular niggas. <laughs> Y'all niggas too up to be saying that. Yeah, every up nigga says my rent <laughs> hour. Talk to some nigga making minimum wage. I don't. I don't. I think it's just good communication, though. Like it's right. like, right, like for example, um, I don't think you're like incredibly busy, but you are really busy, though. Mm-hmm. And T just knows that. So in reality, even though it's you slow. can afford but, to travel the world, the reason you're not doing it is because you have business here, and it's time that you're lacking. Mm-hmm. But, but so it's that's not even just, it's that not she, just money, though. Like it's also being far, like what? What yeah, do you, time? What, what do you miss? Time. What do you miss about your girl? That's not his girl. What do you okay? What, that, what, 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 miss, what, what do you miss about your girl? Huh? She was cool. What, what, you, what, you the, what, what do you miss about her? <laughs> oh my god! What do, what nothing, you, huh? John. You miss nothing. No, no, no. But I mean, it's been this, so this, long. I can say it's about any guy. Like, but what do you miss about her? I mean, it's been so long. I, I, I mean, I kind of. You don't even her. know. You miss pussy. That's what you miss. She had. She didn't have no, any. No, no. We didn't, we didn't fuck sneaker. as much as I wanted to. Yo, that's what I'm saying. You missed that. You didn't even get more. But that's like really. You missed. What? What do you miss about her pussy though? I know this, yeah, bro, exactly. John. You got to say something. You know what you miss? What did you miss? You miss like claiming. You miss like she was your girl. It's a possessive thing. Like it's like an object. Don't miss no John. Say something. What did you miss, nigga? Think about your list, bro. Think about your list. What did you miss? Nothing. Bro, like I think. Oh my he god. Know that. It's just, what did you miss about your ex? Oh my god. What do you miss about your ex, Lo? You don't know. No, my ex. What do you miss about your ex? I never had any serious. Uh, Nothing. Exes. What do you miss about your ex? Like, he said, right, well, said one X, by the way. <laughs> but no, real talk, real talk. No, she was really cool. She was John, caring. say something. She, what? Say something. You cool? keep saying she's really cool. Can you fix her hat and stop say, staring at John, me? Like John, say something. Say something, John. I am. You let me okay, say okay, it. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. What else? She was caring. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She was ambitious. <sighs> You missed. She, she was nothing. Ambitious. She had. You didn't she say was funny. A homebody. You didn't. She, home, she was there, bro. She was just there. A homebody. She was in your house. That's what you missed. <laughs> no, she was <laughs> in her house. The bare minimum. <laughs> Men ask for nothing in relationships. <laughs> just show up. Be in my house. That's no, it. No, we don't, we was, don't need them to be funny. My bad. My we bad. My bad. She money. was her homebody. They don't need to be entertaining. She was at her house. <laughs> bro, they have. They bring nothing to the table. I'll say this: if I, if, if I, I were to break up with my girl right now, what would you miss? A, she definitely makes a few things convenient. Like I have not gone grocery shopping nor really made myself a plate in a good like two or three months. What would you no miss cap. about her? So like, what would you what would you miss about her? Anything? Food hey, well, I think also she keeps me grounded, grounded dinner preparation. What, you, what she does sun, for you. I'm telling you. I'm, yeah. I just told you. She, what, I, what, what, about, what about her? What about her? Not what snacks. she does for you. Not the snacks well, she are you, are you talking about? Are you talking about a personality trait of hers? Are you like, saying, or like, what, what does you, she do? What would you miss food? about her? The Like, Tommy? What are you saying? You nigga, saying, you know saying? No, you're saying? No, you know what you're saying? Bro, I'm going to answer the question. That's what I'm asking, because I'm giving him answers, and he's not saying No, you're saying you're not answering the question. I'm talking about food. Like, yeah, yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, you know what you mean? She comes to me. Answer the question. What would you miss about her? What you miss, nigga? personality trait. That's what you're saying. Yes. Bro, answer the question. Two things. A, like I said before, groundedness, bro. Like, keeps me grounded because she actually You! She keeps you grounded. Because she's grounded. Now, honestly, I think what for me, the fuck are you for saying? Me, I'm saying that you can't even say anything about oh, her. She's, she's grounded, so she keeps me grounded. grounded. She makes you fool. What does that even mean, grounded? So what is that? She keeps you full. Grounded? Uh, well, Humble, something else, relatable. Something else, something else. Humble, relatable. She, she makes sure you keep she... your figure. <laughs> John, don't be mad at don't be mad at me because you had a girl that literally did nothing. You had a girl who literally did nothing. We think about like what they can. No, but there are good answers though. I think that like any person you spend a reasonable amount, you just anytime you spend a reasonable amount of time with, you should be like fully yourself around her in ways that you're not with other people. So like you could be super fucking weird, and she's accepting of that, and she understands that. And in in that way, you understand her, and you finally feel understood because there's something you're not just gonna do with your man's because you're not fucking sleeping beside this nigga every night so she should make you feel Facts. at home and under so those are all things about her and, that and you should yeah, open and vulnerable too yeah 
All that I feel shit. like, bro, so much fuck. That's, that's the bare minimum. She's I, there. I, I understand. Crib. I'm not she even saying it's going good. above and beyond. She's a feminine I, girl. It like, should just be expected in reality. That should not bro, be a going above and beyond. Little, but you just asked what we'd be missing, though. I know, but that, my point is, like, do you see how little we ask in relationships? So what do you what do you what do you think? Saying grounded and humble is is like what you would miss. That's something like I think that's a very I think that's very specific. No, it needs it needs to be needed though. Because if you're not humble, if you make if you are if you're on the path of being if you're on the path of being grounded. If you're, said food if you're and snacks. Pat, oh my god! If you're in the path of being really hard, that's that's all, all the time. Oh, yeah. hey, I'm serious. If you're in the, if you're you on the path, path of being successful, right? Yeah, yeah. You can easily you lose yourself. Away or in that. What? Yeah. Oh wait, I'm not. I'm not. Well, wrap two different conversations. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm fucking lightheaded. Oh fuck. Oh, I said this dog okay. is gonna fly away. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to. Have a, oh, a legit okay, conversation. bro, if done, you, shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> if you if you are if you on a path of being successful, like and plenty of people on that path lose <laughs> lose themselves, like literally all the time. A lot of times, a way that you don't lose yourself in that in that path is being around people that are still relatable, that keep you humble, that keep you on you your. Just want to throw that skin and like red. relax you after a long day at work. No, that's <laughs> not that's not what that is. Because there's plenty of shit that I might want to do. Like, for example, I don't think that I'm any, I'm like, I used to be like very, very petty, like very petty. I don't think I'm anywhere near close to that. What's what, what I was before, before I met my girl. That's what I'm saying. Shit like that, where I would just do dumb shit for the sake of just doing dumb shit. You talk about personal growth. I see that. Yeah, I, know, I think you like, can we see. We just think of like what they can, like how they make that, us better. But also, like you should see and find personal growth in all like, your family, your friends. This should be just for sure. anyone in your just life. The bare it should be like it's right. the bare minimum. I agree I, with you. Going on that. back to the original, I was saying that John, like the happiness should all. You should never compromise anything for your girl's feelings. It's just going to make the relationship unhappy. I agree. It should literally always trickle but, down, bro. And it doesn't have to do with money. Because my my point was like, what what <sighs> is the is the girl funny? No, you didn't, I said like, what would you? What did you miss about her? You didn't say funny. You didn't say entertaining. You didn't say outgoing. You didn't say like she took me on a great, amazing dates. You did that. That was what you provided well, for her. But okay, you didn't say but, she provided. Okay, like, so I can say the same thing. Like I, we just went to go see Batman, and we went to go um with, um a dinner. I didn't pay for anything. My girlfriend paid for, for everything. Damn. That's your wife. Yeah. So when you ask if that if that's I don't think that's a personality trait, but if that's something that you would have said, yes, we literally just did that, and I didn't pay for a single thing. Uh, I think yeah, you pay for most, right? We're on dates. I I pay 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 for most, but you still pay seventy percent plus. Yeah, that's yeah fair. so then whatever bro still, like she did that to just to make you happy for a second but overall that doesn't even mean anything because you're paying for most I don't you, think you it doesn't mean anything you, do you pay for most in your relationship yeah it's like when you I give your I don't, I, don't, I don't think that means it's like anything, when you give bro. granny a card at Christmas and she gave you like $200 you know it's like yeah well, the, the, the thought it's the thought that counts she's happy but like you she gave you more but I still think that right there makes it a lot just way more convenient for me to just show up to a place and show up to a movie and everything is basically done already and I'm just there. Yeah, the movie. Already, yeah, they just but that happened. That happens because Nigga, she of didn't you. Make it the happens movie. because you're financially <laughs> stable. <laughs> because wrong. you provide her a place to live. Like she, that's not before. Even, before before up. before we <laughs> moved in together, <laughs> it was still like that. You gotta sit down. <laughs> she she even, she I didn't have the shit. I don't know. What's she even picked the time? Eight o'clock is showtime. Get there before the trailer. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know what it was going on oh, right look, now. She called the vets to make sure there's popcorn. She's wonderful. <laughs> She's a keeper. I have no idea what's going on. She, she even did the extra thing to make sure they had enough Skittles for low when he got there. <laughs> oh she did everything. God. I'm about to fucking pass out today. I'm about to pass out this podcast. That's like 25. percent I'm make about sure to everything fucking is pass out, dog. I'm about to make pass sure out. Set up. So, make sure Batman showed up. <laughs> She made sure he made the movie. It's, it's just the, it's the bare minimum. It's the bare minimum. I don't, I don't think it is. I'm buying a movie because it's the bare minimum, bro. <laughs> I did that I, when I was 12, bro. But y'all got great great days. I, again, I think y'all are forgetting what I'm saying. We had we had reservations to a a, a, a dinner where each plate costs over hundred dollars. <laughs> oh God, that's not that. If we if we go somewhere and each plate costs over hundred dollars, that's not the bare minimum. But she, not, know that she, not, she know that she's safe. Look, she's not gonna be broke with you. So she's down to her last dollar. She's with yes. you. Yes, it happens so because you're financially stable. She's with but you. That's why no, she no, no, but, no, like you, but you said that before. This nigga went off. We were, was she spending? We were doing that. We were doing that before when she, she was taking you on two hundred dollars days before. Yes, so like, when she was. I'm about to answer. When she was living on her own and I was living here, we still were doing that. So while she was still spending her money and I was spending my money, she was trapped. We still did that. I don't think Sneakers trying to minimize the things that she does. I have a question. I have a question for you though. If like, what is a version of like a relationship where you? see that like it's like equal in that 
<laughs> the things that you're able to do for her, she's doing for you. And, and it might not be identical things, but just in a way where they're complimentary so you guys are making each other's lives better. I would say, like, the most complimentary relationship, like, with, with no stress was definitely the one with the... The, the previous one like that was just Your like xx yeah like that was and that, that you know what i was i didn't really have to trickle down the happiness because she was older so i didn't like know every she knew some more shit than me mm -hmm. so i didn't i wasn't always like yeah i'm, I'm better and what so what does I'm you better. think she did for you that um because you're saying she was at, she was um like she could talk about things like i learned stuff from her like she knew people i didn't know she knew cool people she knew like put me on a music she knew like, she was just cool. She was like, mm -hmm. even if she wasn't my girlfriend, I would just want to be friends with her. She's like, you know, I talked to you like just, a, that's the same thing he just said. He just said that she was cool. Yeah, but he doesn't want to be friends with her. No, I would be. You'd be friends with, with your ex? I'd be friends with her. You would hang out with her? Like, on, like hang out with her and yeah, chill? I would hang out. Like this? Huh? Yeah, I would. You would do a podcast Bro, with her? I think you have to be able to no, do that. I, I would. I didn't say it's going to happen, but I would. I'm going to post You it. would? Okay. You Yeah, bring her on the pod. You're probably mad at me. Bring her on the pod. Huh? How long do you think it's like you really think you could hang out with and she would be mad well, at you? She blocked me, unblock me, block me, unblock me. Block you can't me, be friends me. with somebody like that. You can't be friends with somebody. No, but I'm unblocked now. So I know, but that, that's for now. That's for a week. But like, think but about. Said, it. I was in the process. Do any of your real friends no, block and unblock you? I wasn't talking to her at that time. Like, I didn't <laughs> have you ever had block. a friend who like, block, unblock, block, block? No, they just hang out with you. No, no, no. That's after we stop talking. It doesn't matter. Bro, have you ever had a friend do that? Well, she said that from the beginning. She's no. Have you had a friend block and unblock you? One of no, your friends. No, no, no you that's you so can't. That's be not a friend. That's not. That's not a girl but you want to be friends with. That's petty. That's a girl do. But that's what, that's what he's petty. saying. Is I'm that saying like that girl. Is. She wasn't. She was like less petty than me. Like sometimes I'd be like low key, yeah. the, play the jealous card, like kind of ironically. Why do you, Why do you think that yeah. was? I know. We're, we're, well, first of all, you said uh, she lived in Barcelona, but where is she from? She's from France, and she's like African family. So do you think it's maybe culture? Yeah, or how she grew up. You know what it is? I think it's an it's an American thing. Like she she learned how to like be. A woman, how to like cook and clean and like how to embrace her feminine qualities. And these are the same things that I no. just, and I mean, it's, <laughs> it's because he's but literally it, saying it, it, the it things only that give you less stress. I'm saying like she, same things it's just big, it's that. Like she knew how to get like have power. Or my girl brought Batman to the movie theaters. <laughs> She knew how to have John, power. You're picking some of the worst <laughs> women and then complaining about when a man is in an actual relationship, what is nigga. That? What you're saying? complaining about the worst women imaginable, and then when somebody's actually conveying well, to you what a real relationship looks like, we don't know that. I don't complain about women. I love women. You look, look at my shirt, nigga. You don't wear nothing like that. <laughs> I love shoes. women too. I love women. Okay, so I didn't say you complain about women. You complain about the you worst women. My the, point was like she. Oh knew yeah, how I don't, to, I don't, I'm not the best picker. She knew how to have power and control and have her place as a woman without trying to be a man, which is what American women try. Western women try to be like girl boss, try to be like top here, like like sort of talking yeah, loud sure. and like for raising sure. their voice and like speak like all that shit is masculine behavior. That's not like uh, girls in other countries don't really act like that to try to have like control. They just embrace. So that that's what women. she missed from her. That she knew how to like be a Feminine. strong woman. A, f a strong feminine. Oh. Women here try to be strong so by being men. That. They try to have masculine behavior to gain power, and it's unattractive and like it's just annoying. Nah, there's something special about like a woman who's like very feminine, uh, in, in like just the way she looks at you. Like she, it is power though, because she she she'll get what she wants, yeah. but not in a way where she's it's like brute force. She's like forcing it, but like she. I don't know how to explain it to you, but the times I've I've, I've dated see, feminine women, it's, it's just it's a, just a joy to be around them. In my experience, I'm not gonna lie, just because of how I grew up, there's usually like some little incompatibilities there because I didn't grow up thinking of like masculine, feminine at all. It was just like we all just felt like we were the same. Let's just find somebody that compliments you. In reality, that is how I feel about things. So um, it just hasn't worked out, but. I understand what you're saying. So are you saying you prefer relationships like that then? Where you don't have to always think about the, the gender role? Yeah. Yeah. Where you could just like just be. But every girl in America, you kind of have to do that because of how the standards are. There's so, so many like, double standards. So like, in, I'm in, with foreign girls. Yeah. So I just rap about foreign girls because they're easily, to, you know what I'm saying, control and they want your money. And rap just give it to him. Oh, not, not gold diggers. Think, yeah, Jesus. It's not gold diggers, John. Nigga, every single time you, you <laughs> talk about a woman, it's like the worst version of them. We're not talking about women who Why? need What's to be... What's wrong with what he said? Like, Nothing wrong with what I said. They just don't understand. Most guys, they, they most guys are dating. House. All women are kind of gold diggers. I don't know one woman. Oh, how did you, you do girl? that? Damn, you good? God damn, that shit just splashed in my face. Splash? Oh, fuck. But oh, again? Man. Oh, man. No, it just really got in now. There's some water. Oh, Wash it out, you know. I'm good. I'm good. But uh, fuck, no, it's swelling up. No, but you could talk. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 
No, you, there's uh, it, foreign is like a, a broad word because like depending on which country of, of of person you're talking to, like their culture is gonna like they're gonna be completely different. You feel mm-hmm, me? Mm-hmm. Uh, and my parents have told me that too. My uh, my parents always try and link me with like random Ethiopian women. And I keep trying to tell them, no, mom, I'm not. In- I'm not crazy. interested in these women that Why? you might know in Ethiopia. Are they bad as hell? Those East Africans? Uh, it depends where you look, but. Yeah, I, I, I like East African women, but it's not that. I just feel like the differences will be too grand between us. Like, I grew up in fucking Toronto, Canada. Oh, There's straight, no, from the, for straight from Ethiopia. Yeah, like, they oh. they have not left there. My oh. parents live in Ethiopia. You so. out. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. So, already. They're going to do whatever you say. Yo, I don't understand. Why wouldn't you prefer exactly. that? Exactly. You want to work all That's the time, and you want to have a bitch at the crib who's not complaining and just cleaning and cooking. And you I, I don't money. want that. I don't a want bitch? that. Because I mean, keep this in mind. My, my soul, mate. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, right. so, I I can outsource all of those qualities. I already have all my homes cleaned professionally. Um, I have a chef who delivers me food, and it tastes fantastic. So, all, all of those things, like laundry services, I have it at the AMP. I was like, all those things, they just get done. So she has no other job but to be obedient. Everything no. else is paid for. No. She has to be obedient. No, no. I what actually, else she going to do? I like, I like, so it's, I'm, a little, I'm a little split. When I've talked to really ambitious women in the past, the problem was that I'm already really busy. If you're going to be busy on top of my real busy, uh-huh. we just won't never see each other. But I actually love that energy of like, you're always working and we could talk about shit. And I feel like we're on the same type of time. Like there's an understanding there. And then there's the opposite, which is like, you're just at the crib all the time. And I feel like there's some sort of like complacency with that. I guess I just never dated nobody who like is more traditional, but also works really hard. Does that make sense? Like what it, though? It, it, it could be just at a plethora of things. Like if she knows that I'm doing like I'm at an event tomorrow, she'll like just do small things to convenience my day. You feel me? I just haven't seen nobody go above and beyond traditionally. And the also be ambitious. Right. Because you can be ambitious at the crib and get shit done. And uh, I mean, like, bro, I got like, bro, like, you can. And, and, and it's like, I don't know. Maybe I just haven't bumped into nobody who, who, who does those type of stuff. But I'm not really. That's why I say, like, I'm not really specific on the type of relationship I want. Like, I just want to find somebody that, like, is compatible with me at the end of the day. And they don't necessarily have to fit in any one of those profiles. But um, I'm, I'm curious now, since, like, you broke up with your current relationship. Who, who, Where was who, she from, by the way? Uh, she's Dominican, Puerto Rican. Okay, do you feel like there was any differences there as a result of like like cultural differences that maybe Yeah, I mean like they're not they are have the most traditional relationships. Like there's no polyamory at all in the DR. It's, oh, so her parents most, probably thought that was crazy. Yeah, like, it, it's crazy. It's completely crazy. So I always took that for granted that I like con- converted her from that. Now, did you really if she got jealous a lot? Did I what? Like did you really convert her? Yeah. I mean she bro, like the, the shit we did like she would have never done before. But what like a transformation is one where like you're of a new state. You feel me? And if she continuously gets... Well, now she's saying she can never go back to the to that. So she likes it. it. She, yeah. I guess she's just she, trying she to work to the... But you still have to get over the... Je- I mean, I still got jealous too. Yeah. You asked like who who ended the relationship? Yeah. Um, I would I would say it was... I would say I did for the most part. I would say I did. Wow. I, we we, we broke up and got back together a couple of times. It was like a slow phase out. And yeah. I, I hope she's like... She's going to be watching this. Like, I just... I, I don't want her to, to feel bad or anything. No, for sure. For sure. But, um, I mean, you, no, you it's tough because like I still, was... I still have love for her. Like I still, I would say I still love, love the girl. Her? Yeah, oh, okay. I still love her, but it was just too much stress. Like you just not in love with her, just, huh? What you miss about her? I miss uh, <laughs> bro, the snacks, bro. Some fire snacks. Some snacks, <laughs> snacks. <laughs> snacks bro. You better hide it for low. <laughs> I, 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 I promise you. I, oddly enough, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Niggas who actually work. I don't understand why it would not like the convenience of while you're working, like. Food is just ready for you. When but like, you're, when you're fucking also, working. I just learned this. Like, really wealthy people have multiple assistants. But like, those are things assistants can do. That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of those qualities, if you can afford to, you can outsource. Like, if you think it's valuable enough. But you're getting to a point of wealth where most people don't. I'm not. I'm not as crazy yeah. wealthy as a lot of you think. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You just I'm not. Said, drink. You just I'm, said, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying you, you, you have maids. Anyway. You have people to clean your car. You got to cook. But they're all great prices, though. You're still talking about a, 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 a certain form of just right, right. Money 100%, that you're 100%. That's what I'm saying. So you're I'm not saying I'm, I'm not up. I'm just saying like no, I'm not. Are. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm, not, I'm saying I'm not saying I'm not up. But oh. the point is, is like a lot of those things. If you can afford to outsource them, then it kind of defeats the like why I look and for somebody. If you can't, since most people can't, I'm talking about you. But most people can't. Okay. And I would much rather. Why would I spend an extra? 
thousand dollars a month when there's somebody at the crib that's willing to do that. Mm. I guess. Yeah. Are you paying extra for a chef, and that's something if you had a girl, she could do. I don't pay that much. It doesn't you matter about how much you pay, you pay but you, you pay. Bro, this paying. whole conversation, like, we really don't even want soulmates. We just want, like, a, a maid we can fuck. That's not what no. I said either. That's like, one way we, to look just, at it. We've been talking about how well girls can cook and clean no, for like four I've, I've, I've literally also said that she keeps me grounded, which I think is a very, very <laughs> important quality when you start earning a bunch of money. If you start, if you start earning money, bro, and, like, if you, if you start earning money, you start losing yourself very quickly. You can. Yeah. True. Like not having that quality or not having somebody who can allow you to like have a very clear vision of what the end goal needs to look like through your life, for her life, from a family life, for our, our kids' life. I, I see what like Sneak was all saying, that though. shit is like very, very, very important. Yeah. There's too many fucking women I'm in the world. Our, our standards are so low in general. Like, no, I know. I think women a, have so no, many no, standards no. for men, and we have like I think, really. I think that's a very important. Just look good and just don't complain. I think that's a very. I think I, I, I see what you're saying, but just I think make, that's keep also keep me grounded. You know what I'm saying? Like just like be around and don't stress me. Out. I think that's important. That's what you're saying. You're grounded, just like don't don't bother me. I see what you're saying, but I think that's also important because the the keeping me grounded means that like, everybody else. <laughs> you know, what every, I mean? but keeping me grounded means that everybody else around me is also fine. Like I'm I'm taking care of more than just me and you. Like yeah. I'm taking care of helping my mother. I'm helping. I'm trying to save. You're shit You're getting for my away kids. from the point I'm trying to make. Like, do you don't think that I, I have a point? Like, we're not. We do you really think you like look? Do we really ask for a lot and for women? No, I don't. I don't think we. I don't think nope. we do. Like, what are our standards? I don't think we do. No, I don't think we do. They say shit like six feet tall, six figures, eight inches. Damn. I was about to say I, I, I applied to some of them, but not eight inches though. Six eight. figures. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, just, just look good. Caleb, Caleb said fat ass just and that's good. it. Yeah. So I think, but I think if that if those are your standards, then then that's why you that's why because like I don't that would not have been my standards just to look good. That's crazy. That's a crazy like. Well, that's, that's just my standards to fuck because like I, men don't really go into do we do we really look for relationships mostly you just yeah, like what? mostly you're there out fucking. No. Not me no. at least. No, no. you're no. like actively looking for a relationship. Like I want to no, find no, 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 love. No. I'm not actively. Like if we go out to the clubs later, you're looking for your next wife. I wouldn't. I wouldn't to go club. to the club to look for my next wife. Though. I wouldn't go to the club in general. But if I did, I'm that definitely too. not expecting my but wife. But I'm saying to like when you're also you talking to two wrong niggas. Me, 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 nor him go to the clubs. Yeah. Me nor him go to lounges. The maybe, maybe most, you can ask them nigga. That's most, that nigga. The difference is a lot of women will say they won't even fuck guys that don't meet all their standards. We'll fuck women who just like are just there. But we talk. We talk about fucking. The standard for fucking yes is low, but the standard of like. What it's you need to be in a relationship with and actually build something with, where my standards literally cannot be as low as everybody else. I have way too much to lose <laughs> if they were that low. I know, Lo, you're a little different and, and unique in your standards. I think as people get older and more mature, um, they like diversify the type of things they're looking for. But like, you ever look at just like a random couple outside, and, and John will never admit to this because he's like, he, there's no way. But like, they usually are like on the same tier of attractiveness. Like, he's admitted that, that, that. I said that. Oh, he you said, said that before? Well, okay. he was like, wow. You got mad. You said I'm hating or something. What was the, no, 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 no. But that's true. Like, if you, I like, that. I was just looking at. Are some, you agree with me? Say the of point. Course, I have yeah. no idea what you're talking about. So the point is, uh, when you go outside, you see a couple or just two people together and you assume they're a couple because uh, there's no way to know unless you ask them. They're usually on the same level of like attractiveness. Like, you'd be like, oh, I could see them being together. Yeah. You feel me? But so what that, wouldn't that lead though? you to believe that most people pick who they want to be in a relationship with or who to date based on how they look? Because otherwise, wouldn't there be a lot more parody? Like you'd see someone who's really attractive nah, with someone you don't who's see less a lot attractive. Of ugly guys with gorgeous girls. That's what not he often. said. That's what, that's what John not said. Often. Bro, what are you talking about? Not often. Even in Atlanta, I see this nope. shit everywhere. Mm -mm. Miami, you nope. don't see these old ass white guys with like big that, BBL girls. Yeah, those, that's those what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, Jay Z and Beyonce. In, in, Atlanta's a little bit of a. Stop. The, well, the, yeah, think about the it, only though. the only asterisk on that is wealth will override <laughs> all everything yeah. else. Mm -hmm. So, but think about it. Isn't that so shallow that the two never, metrics we're talking about are wealth and and attractiveness? It has nothing to do it's with. It's not just wealth. It's also respect and like what you can do and like your status. Or be able to provide. Any, I know. It's your status. It's, it's more. It's more than just respect. But like we don't. The, the reverse doesn't happen. You don't see like a really hot guy ever fucking a fucking old ass lady with a bunch of money. It doesn't that, happen. John, you think that happens? You're not, you're not fucking yeah. Oprah? They yeah. might fuck her, but you're not fucking Oprah? Oh, you are? Like, you're not fucking Oprah? I'm not going to hold hands in public and be in a relationship with her. I'll fuck her. I'll eat the coochie for You her. won't hold her hand in public? Nah, nah, I'm not holding that. John, you fucking Oprah? Oprah? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm fucking. That's the easy question. Wait, wait, wait. Am I, that's what we're saying. Wait, wait, just fucking her? Nothing out of it? I'm of course fucking her. No, you, you, of course you, you would. I mean, you, I mean, of course there's something out of it, like, but like. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to get some out of it. I would do it for free. You get some dick. You get some dick. You get some dick. I'm giving her all the dick. Yeah. I'm beating the you wouldn't fuck over. It's gonna be a pro. Um, no, I probably would have when I was single. 
But the but that's I, mean, I think that's a, I think that's a great example yeah. though. I think what that's I a, a, the generosity. Well, out I, of her. I think that's a, that's an example of like, bro, if you can fuck Oprah, I mean, like Oprah is uh, the wealthy woman, older wealthy woman that yeah, somebody. So I guess fuck. it does How fucked up though. is that like yeah, fucking Oprah actually. could ruin your relationship. What? What? He's saying that if he was single, he would fuck Oprah. But right now, like, how fucked up is it that if he fucks Oprah, it would ruin his relationship? No, no, there should be like some people on the white list. There should be an exemption. Like if if Lil, Oprah. if Lil had it within him to fuck like Beyonce or Rihanna if they were single, of course, like he should be allowed to do that, bro. Even if they're in a relationship, like come on, bro, it's Beyonce and Rihanna. Yeah. Come on. I said that one time to my girl. She cried. Oprah, Oprah, Oprah kind of old. Yeah, that's what we said. Yeah, Oprah. I've been looking at what she look like now. I'm th- thinking about old Oprah. This current Oprah. We just- so know. it's a no to that to the current Oprah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Because her money the same, nigga. So I don't know what's up. What's 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 up? Money. Dude? Her money's more up now. Yeah, yeah definitely. She has a whole network. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so sneaker, what did you what did you learn again Not from this through, uh, my boy. from this relationship that you just kind of went through, man? What what did, what did you learn? Um, like you you were talking in the beginning, like how it was like, oh, it failed. Like what went wrong? But I, it, you know, you take it as a learning experience. I think I learned mostly how I need to focus on on myself more and not. Completely Fair. dive in. Like, I, I can get really invested in... I was thinking about having a family with her. Like, legitimately. I was mm-hmm. like, she's going to be my baby mother. I'm going to have two kids with her. For real. Mm-hmm. And I thought about that in my last two relationships. I was like, bro, I'm 23. What the fuck am I doing? You're 23? You know? Sneeko, yeah, yeah, we're doing the same thing. I was thinking... That, I wasn't thinking about no, no family or nothing. But I was thinking like, this going to be my You never, like, term. been in there, like, you're about to bust and you, you start like, oh, this could be the mother of my kids. No. No. Never? I could be no. a long-time girlfriend. No. Even with <laughs> your girl now, you don't think that when you fuck? No. How long you been with her? Isn't that like a thing to think with somebody you fucking raw like consistently? I don't want to manifest that too early. That doesn't that doesn't cross your mind at all. No, no I, I already got shit planned. We know I'm not having kids not until we get married, it. and oh, okay. we're gonna have a, have a house bought. Like no, I'm not You're going standard. Yeah, but I thought about the same thing you was thinking about. Like You're going standard. Be a long time. <laughs> default default, 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 default save. The one <laughs> <laughs> nigga wants to throw some curveballs in this shit. <laughs> uh, you're doing the straightest steady way. All right, I see what's what you're doing. Yeah, nigga, I'm not. What doing, you said, John? Uh, no, I said I, I grew. We the same age though, so we kind of relate. Yeah. Well, how old are you? Same age Nico just said. 23? That's how old he is? Yeah, just, I, I focus too much on, I spend way too much time arguing yeah, about Yeah, bro, you got to stop. Just just fuck women casually and do not be in a relationship for six I months. I tried to. Like, that's what it, I was doing. At that time, I was just like, I had like three, uh, like I had a rotation going and then she started applying pressure and I got, I catered to her feelings and then I'm like, all right, I'll be. Mm. No, I wonder that. But see, but when I was your age, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to get a relationship though. You cater. I was, yeah, I wasn't either. Because I never I, am. I'd have never thought like, oh yeah, it's just like. No, but I purposely. stick around. I, I purposely walked out mm. of situations yeah. to not be in a relationship because I knew for a fact like. I knew what, what type of commitment I'm I would have to give to somebody. You know what's funny? I even said to her like oh, two weeks into knowing her, so like one time we, we went out to dinner and then she started like she stormed away or something like that, mm-hmm. and she crossed the street and it's like, what? The, this is so petty. This is so like childish. I She's like, I, I even and then she came back and I said to her like, you know what? Like we're gonna date for like eight to ten months. It's gonna be good. We're gonna fight a lot, but it's gonna be great. But like, yeah, it's just it's not gonna work out. But we're gonna. I was like joking like early on. I was like, yeah. and that, that's literally what happened. And I saw all the red flags in the beginning. I just ignored what it. What red flags did you see? That we were gonna fight all the time. That she was a girl that like it wasn't. I and what, saw what showed you that out of curiosity? I just uh, we were at a date and then like I said something wrong. She stormed away. She walked off mm-hmm. instead of saying bye. And you're like, oh, it's gonna be like. And this. she wanted me to like chase after her. And then she came back. She's like, where'd you go? I'm like, you ran off. Like, what did you want me to do? Like, I don't know. Like, I thought you were behind me. I was like, all right, this is this is childish, you know? Yeah, because that that right there is just like, come on, just be straight. Like in reality. Yeah, and the, she wasn't. She was like waiting for me re- to react. She did something like mm-hmm. she. Did something and expected me to chase her. She wanted that's to almost that's that's down your main, main character syndrome right there. Yeah, I think a lot. I think most that's girls think games, like most yeah. girls that age. I think think like that. It's it's not specific to her. I think it just oh, she was 22? twenty two twenty. She's oh. twenty about to be twenty three. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So d- does it like uh, I, I'm sure it crossed your mind like you know saying if you bump into somebody new uh, at some point like you have to retrain them. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. Well, now I'm not gonna. I'm not even thinking about a relationship, bro. You know what I want now? I want to date two lesbians. I want to be in a lesbian relationship. Yeah, bro. The three of us are gonna be really this happy. This guy is fucking crazy. This is what I want. Man, bisexual. That. Um, no, I, I'm a lesbian. I'm, I'm just straight up lesbian. I'm not even. And I want so to three be lesbians. me, me lesbian and two lesbians. The three of us are gonna be together. DM me. So a girl and lesbians. a dyke and Sneeko? Oh, yeah, yeah. A girl, a dyke, and me. Jesus. So you, young MA, and hey, a bad bitch. Can you explain to me real quick, Sneeko, how? Not that young MA though, but you know, like I'm gonna say, that's two niggas in a girl. What, what's less than young MA? Like Dyke E, but not uh, D- Butch. Who? Butch. They yeah. call him Butch. 
Butch. I don't want no All Chris right, Bay guys. Butch. Let's let's not even acknowledge the fact that Sneeko's saying he's lesbian. Um, no, I am for real. Damn me. So you, but you do want to just be in a. I, I want to be in a thruple. I, if I, if I, my next relationship, I want to be in a thruple. That's what I'm John Morant is in. Who is thruple? John Morant. John Morant has two John girlfriends. John Morant has two girlfriends. Yo. For real? But they're probably both straight. That's balling right? like that. That's the secret. They're probably both straight though. I, I want I mean, like two too. girls. I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're straight or not. They but they, but they know too. about each other. Like it's not like fucking like crazy. Yeah, but they're not. They're not all together. He has two separate girls. I want. I don't know if that's true though. I want to be in a thruple. I don't know if that's true though. Wow. Did you just say that? Are you sure that's true? You should, who said that? What, did you say that what? John Moran thing? No, no, he said that. Oh, you said that? Yeah. That's true. That's that's, that's openly why I'm known. not dunking. Twice the sex, twice the thumping, twice the leg. That's op- it's openly known that John okay, Moran is. Wow. And people who know my ex and stuff like that, and like just I'm just fucking around. This is just we're just a He's podcast. Just trolling. I don't yeah. want to make anyone yeah. sound bad. I still hey, love her. I, she was great. Just there's nothing wrong with you know, you know all that. It just didn't work. It just didn't work out. That's it. Yeah. And don't don't judge anything I said in this and like bring it back to me. I'm just fucking. This is my therapy. All right. Let me have this. Yeah. Damn. Let him have it. Of course. Yeah. Rank is three girlfriends. He's dunking for a three point line. Okay. Blueface had one for a bit. He had he had two. Blueface girls. had he a did. fucking he had a whole house of girlfriends. Thoughts. No, he, he had, had dozens. <laughs> he had a whole house. He had a whole house full. Yeah, a couple, he had a house of girlfriends. Show, but he always had a couple thoughts on hand. No, 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 no. Before the TV show, he had a he had a bunch of girls living with him. No, I'm saying like, but he always has thoughts on him. It was like a girlfriend, girlfriend. Like John Morant. What's that other nigga, that comedian that has two girlfriends? There's a comedian that has two? Yeah, there's a comedian that had two girlfriends. There's a couple of them that had two girlfriends. I don't know their name, though. Two oh, girlfriends is crazy. Were, um, I'm not going to lie. That's a commitment, though. That's a lot of work. Yeah, like, whoo, one yeah. is a lot. Yeah. So why do you two? want that, then? I want it. I want it to flow perfectly. I think we're gonna be great together. <laughs> the Who is up. we? I think we're gonna be great together. Yeah, hey, you, gotta train, you gotta train lesbians to like dick again, like real. Dick. No, but just mine. It's just gonna be open for me. But like, they can fuck around with other girls. But like, that's why I want two dykes. So no other. It's just we're three yeah. lesbians together. Is a dyke gonna have a, a a dick restriction limit? Does it got to match yours oh, or smaller? Uh, she can no. Nah, she can pick whatever she wants at the store. Oh, so she she can bring a big one. She can pick yeah anything, anything baseball bat. That make her hey, big dog? I, I told the girl. <laughs> I told a girl uh, about your face dick. Yeah. And she loved the idea. Oh, yeah? Did you buy it? No, I didn't try it yet. You should buy it. I'm going to try it, though. It was. It's okay. It, yeah. I don't think the one I got was that great. It's a little like flimsy. Oh, no. You definitely I, want something sturdy. I think it's rubber with like foam in the middle. It's not very oh, durable. Okay, okay. I think it's not firm enough. So it's like you got to get a high quality one. Yeah. I, I, but that's the one I saw. I bought the one from the meme. But yeah, it does flap well. Like it, it does flick yeah. up and down well. Yeah, but tight that, shit, that's tight it. shit, tight shit. My old girl saw that too. I think we did a video or something a while back, and then she said, "Oh, this is your friend." And she sent me the tweet of you with a dick on your face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you buy it? Huh? You didn't buy it? No, no. Why I not? Didn't. I didn't. Yeah. Huh? Why not? Don't. I never, I never got to the point of getting it, but it tight was in my shit. cart. You ever get one of those giant vibrators, the magic mm-hmm. wand? How huh? giant? Why? It's like, uh, what do you mean, why? For her clit. You bought it for her? Or for, I've, yeah, I've had it's one for a while. It's not for him. I know, what I'm saying, well, why would you buy you it for her? It would be a good For women, what do you a mean? A dozen for roses, wife. but not the flowers. Yeah, those, ro- those roses are kind of mid, though. You need the magic wand. You don't have that? A dozen. Why are you looking at it like, like it's so weird? You know what it's for. You just put How it on big clit. is it? You no, said well, giant. There's one giant one that has like two different settings. You plug it into the wall. There's How also one that's it? a battery powered. It's mm-hmm. like twice the size of the mic. Oh, wow. In thickness and like, yeah, it's a big boy. Oh, so you, you just put that on your clip outside the bed. You put that like on a clip. And you just yeah, yeah, it? It's a, yeah. But it has like a little tip. But it's a it's a giant thing. Jesus. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Multiple settings. Called a magic wand. The magic wand. Yeah. The rose is is mid from. I, every girl that said they use a rose, they like it. They like it. Yeah. Yeah. Put them onto the magic wand. Trust me. Magic wand. Okay. Uh, so magic wand or Hitachi? Hitachi. I don't know. I don't know. This portion of the podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp. This mm. is the perfect podcast to do this, man. <laughs> Relationships, oh, yeah. they take work. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of us would drop anything to help someone they care about. We'll go out of our way to make sure other people are treated well. But how often do we give ourselves the same treatment? That's beautiful. Wow. That is, that's what it's I like. That. You like that? Me too. I, I would definitely download wow. BetterHelp. Okay. That's yeah, great. And, so, and, and that's the thing. Wow. That's the thing about BetterHelp. It's self-help, man. It's therapy, man. Yeah. How often are you on therapy, man? I have, uh, like, once. Once. In your life? Four years ago, yeah. Wow, you should do it again, man. Yeah. BetterHelp is an online therapy that, yeah. that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. That's convenient, wow. bro. It's much more affordable than an in-person therapist, and you can match up with any therapist in under 48 hours. Convenient, man. Wow. Think about that. 
When you went back on the flight, right. you have the hours to really think about okay. this. That's almost right. faster than Call of Duty Warzone. Trust me, Sneeko. Sneeko, you got to give it a try. While over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Therapy online. Mm. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. And peer-to-peer listeners get 10% off their first month of BetterHelp.com slash peer. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash peer. And again, huge thanks for BetterHelp. Therapy, I don't know what. I don't know what he's talking about now. There's, 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 there's a, there's a, there's a quote unquote, there's a, there's a, there's a quote unquote sexual toy that's really just a massager, but women have turned it into a sex toy. I think it's that. Yeah, that's. I what think I it's got. that. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's it's really just a massage. It's just a massager, like a regular, like you just rub it on your leg or your back. But then Imagine they, they the turn it into. That. He's like, man, well, I that's can't. what they sell it as, but they know what they make it for. I guess. Yeah, yes. come on. Mm. I guess. I guess. Waterproof. Oh, yep. It has to be. Yep, it's waterproof. Yep. I was talking about the massage one. <laughs> yeah, the massage, the massage thing is waterproof. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. It's waterproof. You imagine. <laughs> what do you, you imagine, man? You said it was it a actually starts working it and it ruins the like, like, so. I, I, I think the uh, the two point version they've they've up, they've upgraded to waterproof. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. for sure. So for you're sure. single against Nico? Yeah, I'm out there. I'm uh, ready to mingle. Yeah. I met a very beautiful lady today. Yeah, you did. Shout out to Haley. <laughs> wow. I love Already, you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is she you. a lesbian? Uh, we could we could work something out. Yeah, we could work either she is, or she is a sneaker. What's going on? She, you know what Sneeko said is my way to the highway. Yeah, yeah. She can, he gonna make her she she can turn her lesbian. She can turn. If I'm paying for everything, yeah. and I'm flying around. I'm paying for dinners. You could suck a little coochie. What? Oh, you her. Could, you could lick a little clit if I'm paying for everything. You know what I mean? Probably not. Actually, you know what I'm saying the power of money. <laughs> you think money's that powerful? It is. Yeah. No, it's not. It is. Jesus. I've, I've, see, I've been seeing a, a, a larger, uh, I kind of want to get your take on this, Sneak. I've been seeing more videos on the internet of men talking about how they dislike successful women. Um, and they don't say it like that, but the, what I understand they're from intimidated. it is they don't want women to have more Oh, leverage. you think they're intimidated? Yeah, they're just intimidated. They're just intimidated that women have more money than them. They need to get over that. That's just dumb male insecurity. No, but what, what if they think it's the same thing you said earlier, this masculine energy that they're, they're pushing off? Um, I don't think so. I mean you should be able to topple that. You shouldn't be in, you shouldn't let her beat you in the masculine game if you're attracted to her. But you, I'm talking about like women and American women who try to be masculine by like raising their voice and yelling and like just snapping and doing man shit and th- it's different than actually being successful. So you think you think that um a woman can be masculine in her work but come home and be feminine to you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, those women actually turn out to be like the freakiest and who need to be dominated in bed because they're yelling at men all day. They just need a good man to dominate and put them in the. Oh, is that why they? Is that why they say like business people uh, like to be dominated? We learned that in the last podcast. Uh, that was yeah, a it because it's always a power dynamic all day in the workplace. Mm. And they just need to get relief from their masculine yeah, responsibilities. Those women need to be choked and slapped and their hair pulled. They need some man to just like, okay, I need to be a lady again. And then you're that guy. What's up, baby? Okay, <laughs> right in the camera. <laughs> Oh, uh, so but you think them niggas are just insecure? Like who just Yeah, just get over that, your pussies. Yeah, you, you need to just pussies. topple only, that masculinity. I feel like people that only care are control freaks. Like a man that wants to be dominant, he can't let a girl make more money in him because he feels like he can't yeah, be Yeah, it's pussy shit. A lot of the guys need a girl to be like they need to belittle their woman. And that's that's just really insecure behavior. But yeah. that happens a lot. That's why a lot of like really old guys date like really young girls. They just need it. Yeah, because they can manipulate them. They know everything. Then the they girl falls for it. That's, that's that shit is lame, bro. Well, how old is your girl? She's uh, two years younger than me. Yeah, that's that's. Oh yeah, he got a young one. Yeah. But I, I would say most girls I've met, they've had what that experience. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> haven't you, haven't most girls you've like talked to had an experience with like a, a much older guy? Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, much, you think that's weird? like thirty years older, no, or like whoa. twenty years? No, like seven. Not that much, years, but like I dated like girls who were like in high school and they said their first boyfriend was twenty two. Like when they're seventeen, like what? That's not normal. Also illegal, but you're right. Yeah, like what? What do you? That's well, weird. it still depends the state. I'm like, surprised, like no one told you that was weird, <laughs> really. Yeah, I, 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 I was told just, that nigga. That was I was weird. just talking to someone today in the video, and she was explaining to me that uh, she doesn't like dating men that's older than her. And I was like, "Wow, that's what? weird." Uh, she was older than me, that's so I was first. like, "Yeah." But the reason she explained, because I'm like, "Why?" And she's like, "Well, the, the men that I've dated that was older than me." They were all like control freaks and like they, take they just wanted to like that. Who are you following and like where are you? And yeah. I'm like, bro, people like that exist. Oh, that is really crazy. common. Those, those are the most insecure men are end up controlling the women. Sad. The most. But at the same time, like girls who say that they like they talk to a guy. Why are you giving like, him the time of day? <laughs> Why not move on, bro? He wants to know where you're at the third time that day. Cut him off, man. What's something wrong with him? When you're younger There's than a girl, she always pulls the same card. Oh, you're a baby. 
You're a little baby. Yeah, you're a baby. Yes, like, yes. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I no, hate no, no. that that's, shit. That's that nigga's that nigga go-to. I do that every I time. I hate when you're two older months me. younger. Like, me, bro, I'm like, bro, you don't know. Come on, stop pretending like you know everything. You two older. Come on, you're two years older. Isn't it funny how they all say that? Yeah. We all know that? Yeah. But, yeah. Like but, isn't, but isn't that, isn't that them trying to get off the, like, It's them trying to get some you? power. It's them trying to, like, belittle. Yeah. Like I just yeah. know more than you. But you can't do it. But you can't. You can't. I, I, turn I me understand on. them a little bit because sometimes I'll be looking at people that's younger than me and thinking like, oh, in like three years, you're not gonna be Makes like sense. that no more. But also, it's like not every day is equal. You feel me? You could have been. You yeah. could be one year older than me, but you didn't live as much, or or the other way around. Maybe I'm 25, but I'm really immature. So it's it's not always the same thing. I feel like it just really depends. No, it's on just their default thing to say. Right. That's they don't. Have, they all say the same shit. Especially bro. when they feel like they they're all, not we being have the understood. same conversation with every girl. Astrology. Oh, you're a baby. You're like, uh. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, today's shoot like every. I talked about signs for so they long. They talk about the same exact thing. And it's favorite just the colors. Same bullet points, bro. bro. Favorite color is a crazy convo topic. Favorite color is a. We all had it. Where were we at, nigga? There was a moment when I used to live here, where y'all were you and somebody else. I can't. I don't know if it's David or something. Y'all were upstairs, and it was some women in the fucking room, and y'all having the conversation of. So, what's your favorite color? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? We had no. the call called um, y'all because David is up there with you. Yeah, I don't remember. And that. they were asking. They y'all were stumbling across certain questions, and then then one favorite of the questions: color. What's your favorite color? Like literally, what the fuck difference would it make? Are you just asking for no reason? Because women don't. I don't think women know how to at that point hold just a conversation. conversation. They don't know how they to make they conversation. Don't know how to make conversation. They don't. They don't, they don't have to. They don't have to. That I agree with you. That agree. They never have to learn, and they can get by. And then people, men, will tolerate it. I like blue. Because they want pussy. <laughs> Wait, like, isn't that insane that we entertain that conversation? I'm like, I don't answer that question. And on an actual date that's not like on some video shit, I'm not answering your color question. No, the or, or your sign question. I don't answer the sign question. He, he, she tried to ask me, like, when's your birthday? I'm no. When's your birthday? No. Just no. Not doing it. Yeah, I don't, I don't do that. Because women, women do need to realize, like, you that's, know not, your that's not an actual question. Know your worth. That's not a question. Okay, you can't do that. But men, but men give it up, though. Men are quick to give with the penis. Stop. Nah, man. I know men. Men, that are, will, so men, are, afraid. men are afraid if they reject a woman, they're not going to like you anymore. But it, they actually become attracted to you more if you show that. I don't think that's what I you think, want. I think most stands. men don't have that many options. So even if it comes at the the um, risk of answering your favorite color question, they'll do it because they, they think. Yeah, that but like, at the same time, bro. she kind of thinks you're a bitch for answering that question. I'm not gonna lie. I know women. I know Maybe guys not the that are question. highly enthusiastic about astrology. They don't even believe in it. They just pretend to because. <laughs> they're gonna Everyone fuck after. <laughs> they're gonna bond on that. Talk about how compatible they are. They're gonna Google their compatibility and see their moon signs and shit. And nah, you know what googling I'm that shit live is crazy. I mean, for real, yeah. I just troll. I mean, I just act like I'm interested in something anyway, just to make a joke out of it. Yeah. It entertains me. I just lie. Yeah, I just be lying now. Just say any month. So I'm about, oh wow, that's how the you can't grass say blaze move to the light of the moon. Yeah, you gotta, gotta say like that. you gotta say safe ones nowadays. Like when I tell women Taurus. They lose their mind. For some reason, Taurus and Leo is like the least popular ones. No. I never get along with Tauruses. I'm like, bro, now I got to overcome the fact that. What you say a Taurus? A Taurus. Taurus. The Taurus. bull. Taurus. Taurus. Like the car, the cop car? Oh, the Ford. Ford yeah. Taurus. Correct. Yeah. But it's a bull. I don't know why. Yeah. I have no idea why. Because <laughs> that's fucking wild. That but like I mean. But it's, it's just because niggas give up dick. If if niggas didn't give up dick that quick, then I think women would force to because dick is worthless. I mean, there's dick. It's not you can get it anywhere. Yeah. And in reality, has no value. <laughs> if like five inches is the average, that means half. I mean, the dick does have value if you know how to use it. Yeah, not when niggas give it up. That, as much that's as they do. true. Nobody thinks that dick has value. Even women don't think dick has value. Even no. men don't think they do. They, they, the one loyal one they like, the one they love. Yeah, but that's what I'm no. saying. dick yeah. in general has no value. Pussy is valuable. Pussy cost something. What's it cost? I mean, six hundred dollars. It it's six hundred to fuck. Six hundred. Call pussy. Nigga, the price of pussy keeps going up. Yeah, What's I think going pussy's on? Pussy's like six hundred now. Wait, how much was what? it? I've never fucked a hooker, but what the fuck? Nah, vagina well, is expensive. Pussy cost six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Well, for some like some <laughs> some not age stuff, but like you can probably get two hundred. I mean, you think it's two hundred for age stuff? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> what What's the, the cheapest fuck? pussy? Where, I don't even know the pussy prices. What are you talking about? He he you was buy, surprised I said six hundred. Six hundred is crazy. No, I haven't bought pussy. I haven't, but but you think that the the was going he, rate is six hundred? That was just the girl I talked to one time in a video. Price. And it, 
That's the base model. Now there's no way that's the floor price. There's no way that's a. That, that what do you think be. the floor price is? One hundred, one fifty. That's really. That, that's you think the average man can afford six hundred? You think the average nigga who just buys pussy can afford six hundred dollars? I don't know anybody who really buys pussy regularly. I'm some, just saying the niggas who do. Sounds like the top tier. No, yeah, actually, no, no, no. Sounds, no. I, my roommate fucked. Uh, no, no. My friend fucked this guy. This I'm girl, sure that eight year old Chinese price? lady for like fifty dollars. Yeah, fifty dollars massage pussy. The top like, tier is yeah, thousands. But, I mean, if you want to get like what? Yeah. Thousands? Thousands. I watched a podcast where a prawn star was explaining how most of the money she makes is not on prawn. The yeah, like, yeah. overwhelming amount was just through house calls. Yeah, only and they would pay like, like, like 5000 10000 for them to come to the crib. I, I, I don't know if we're going to call those so streetwalkers. Those, those are famous prawn stars, right? Yeah. Right. So they, their, their prices are up because they're already famous. Right, right. And you know their skill set. You see their resume live. Bro, I'm talking about regular. <laughs> I ain't giving you 10 bands. I ain't seen shit you did. I'm about to say, I'm talking, talking about, about, word. I'm talking about <laughs> regular. <laughs> word to mouth. Regular pussy. You think they, they charging 600 Yeah, I would say like good, put like a, a, a six and up. How you know what good pussy is? Man, that's I'm crazy. I'm the judge of what a good pussy is. That's true. I should pay your ass pussy. That is true. You're going to audit the pussy, John? Nah, tell me. Yeah, that pussy was good. <laughs> well, okay. If I was a girl, I would set my standards at 600. Like, I'm not going less than 600. And dick is worthless. Dick is worth yeah. absolutely nothing. Facts, bro. Fuck Biden, man. Nigga, if pussy prices going up like gas prices, that's crazy, nigga. Wow. Pussy man, gets going up. Niggas in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> niggas in trouble now. the pandemic, bro. No, that's yeah. crazy. Uh, that's right. crazy. It, it, yeah. That's crazy. He did what he did, though. You actually might be right now because, like, since OnlyFans exists, why would I give it to you for a hundred? Exactly, if you I could trap your pussy out way better than that. Yeah, for sure. I just thought about it. yeah, it probably well, is because so I can what, just go so make a hundred dollars off of my pussy. What comes with your six hundred? What what? What comes with your six hundred? Some wings, fries, <laughs> nothing. Your food? Nah, I just, I mean, maybe a hotel room. I, I would like a hotel room. Oh, so, so you're saying if you a woman, you all you wouldn't want is. A six hundred in a hotel room. Yeah, yeah. You could take care of the food. Oh, so the so the hotel room included with the six hundred. Yeah, no. yeah. You know yeah, what it is? Yeah. yeah. Lie, let me do math for you, my brother. So you would be making like basically oh, five. So you pay a hundred dollars. Oh yeah, she got something. Well, you have to get a hotel room. Else you're gonna fuck me. Like all like, come on, I'm a lady. Oh, so you say in total? <laughs> I'm not going to the car. If you if you get a hotel? if you get a fuck every night, you would have made two hundred nineteen thousand dollars, and that's basically tax free because no one's reporting. That's why, like, I have a lot of resentment. To the IRS. Like, if you were a girl, wouldn't you just be a thought? Wouldn't you just be a whore and sell your pussy? Right? You would just be a complete but whore. Most, most attractive of normal men not going through these services, so it's not pleasuring you. You're getting weird niggas and big niggas. Like, that's I know, what, it's, not that's about, what, it's not about that's being what, that's what Kevin. That's what Kevin Samuel said, though. Kevin Samuel said that a lot of high value men pay for pussy. Because they'd rather just like do that. It's just more convenient. It's more convenient. And dating is paying for pussy. Like when I take a bitch out, I call her an Uber. Just stop looking at me. It's paying for pussy. She doesn't call me Uber ever. Have you ever been Ubered by a girl? No. Never. No. Never. You do it. You bro. Everybody pays for pussy. We gotta stop lying. Uh, and act is, like, does that count as paying for? Yes. No, no, no. Oh. We're not gonna like. It's the hope you're paying for. When you pay her, we go out to the dinner. The craziest thing I did, bro. I, there was a girl I Ubered an hour. It was like forty five. It was like forty five dollars. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It was like forty five dollars. This was back before Uber like quadrupled their prices. <laughs> Cause now that'd be like two hundred. Yeah, Uber there and back. Yeah. So no, I think I picked her up actually, and the reason I picked her up was because I just, uh, I think I just had the air suspension on the M4, so I you wanted to drive it. But then oh, okay, okay, okay. We, we had a date, and then after I'm like, I'm not driving you back. <laughs> I was just like, did you get pussy? You did, right? That's a luxury. Uh, I decided not to, but she was. She, I'm pretty sure she would have been uh, willing to. Yeah. You decided not to after a date and everything. If I don't know somebody, I'm not fucking them. I'm be honest. Why after, you so after, bougie with you? your pussy? I, I just don't. You have so many no. standards and stuff. With his dick, you mean? Have you ever been a whore? Nah. Did your you, dick work? Yes. You never had like a That's whore a phase? Crazy no, I never. Uh, you never wanted to? I just feel. I just. You I don't know how to. Feel. It, just, it feels. It feels. I feel like guilty, for a lot of reasons. One, I know that I should probably be doing something more productive with my time. Yeah. Two. Uh, it's not really meaningful in like the moment right after you just feel like shit most of the time. And then you also feel like she needs to get out. And it's like, it's overall like a <laughs> bad experience. But you don't get out anyway. No, no not all the time. No, not all yeah, the time. Not, especially if she's an hour away, right? Yep. <laughs> especially if she feel like, ah, it's kind of late. I might as well just. No. Yeah. So, I, I, and, and on top of all of that, I always like making sure that she is 100% comfortable because um, I could get like, persuasive but i'd rather <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'd rather just have the confirmation that because she is 100 with being it. honest okay 
Wake up, Snicko. He's being. Are you okay, man? You might have missed what I said. Oh, yeah, but yeah, communication and yeah, those dog. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's not how you even like persuasive. Persuasive. start doing a TikTok. You know, it's like, yeah, I appreciate women. I but women you know what that is? It's because, like, I, gonna love this I also don't like dating women who've had those phases neither. Because I'm not their fallback. Like, after they spent, like, fucking ages 18. But why do you have to think of it as a fallback? Uh, huh? You are their fallback. They didn't have, they, oh, didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. they, were, they would probably down. consider me as their fallback. But after six, eight, ten years of you just fucking whatever and having fun and not thinking about your life, like, <laughs> that whole time I was grinding. So I'm definitely not just going to accept whoever just because she looks good. But those girls fuck oh, way better. I bet they do. That's those girls saying. fuck like way said, better, bro. Say I need like she a had phase, right? Yo, yo, the standard, we're not talking about fucking, though. Say she had a phase where she was fucking, she just <laughs> caught 75 got, bodies bro. last year. What else I'm not three months off to <laughs> figure herself out, and now she want to fuck with you. I, I don't give she could be the baddest. I'm not dating her. I thought you said so past. She moved on. No, no, no. I, I, I personally, I think that's great. That's growth for her. But I'm not like her fallback, though. Like, she doesn't get to just, like, what? waste eight years of her life and then <laughs> get to enjoy the luxuries of me not doing that. That's crazy. Because I know I could find women that took that time, that same time, saying, and made good use of it. until later on. Like, you really fuck with her and then you find out. No, 100%. Oh, no. That's something you could figure out, like, I'm on the second say, date. You might not. They might not upfront tell you that in the first day, but you get clues, though, bro. Yeah, if you if you just ask them what they did for the, what do you do? It's and a hypothetical first, question. No, 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 no. When you ask them, like, what do you do? How do you spend your time? If they t- bullshit and say, ah, I just let's be at a house chilling, like they don't say, like when they if they answer, like they aren't, they aren't really doing shit. Or if you just ask them, like, ah, oh, like, like, are you in school? Like, are you out of school? Like, what do you do for like, a career? I date and they don't somebody, say anything. Somebody I'm actually gonna give time to. They have to take their life fucking seriously. And and it is what it is. But a lot of women that I uh, that would consider me usually consider me as like like a great long term solution, yeah. but not the fun short term solution. Because you're which not is, really. I'm not. I'm yeah. really not. <laughs> I mean, so which is her dick appointments are important to her though. One hundred percent. But she can't. That's fair. She but, can't get fucked three times a week by different people, and then when she's twenty six, she's like, "Yeah, you know what? Agent's a pretty cool guy." Because I just like, in my opinion, is like I could find somebody that hasn't done those things. Why does her past matter that much to you? It, it doesn't really. It does. It doesn't. Obviously, that's that's what what no, no, it it's, not, it's not that she did those things. Is that she didn't do something better with her time? Yeah, you're, her past matters. Her too. past matters. Then. No, it does. It's, it's about past. her past is relevant. It's about what she did it's how she she right now. It's how yeah. it's, it's, what she, it's what she did right now, bro. I'm in a great position because of what you did for your past. Correct. And she's not in a great position because of what she did in her it's past. What, it's what it's like. You don't deserve the fruits of this labor because you 100%. didn't work. Yeah. So it's it's not even like really about her hoe activities. Like, oh, you don't deserve it because you were just a hoe this whole time. I'm only it, gonna get it, to a good girl. It's not that I'm even considering her like a hoe. Her it's just like I've talked to women that grinded those years, and I'm way more attracted you, to that. That's what you, it is. You don't think a hoe deserves that? You think a good girl deserves it? Well, let's say hypothetically speaking, I guess, you know, yeah. But let's say hypothetically speaking, she didn't hoe, but she just didn't do nothing with her fucking life for like a four to five years. I think, but it's find it's a more, way to justify that. It's, it's more if she, like if she said no. this thing like, "My dad was sick," and this Adrian would be like, "Oh, wow." Well, da, da, da. That's not doing it's nothing with whole, her time. It's though. the whole activity that it's not, it, that's not doing nothing with her time. Yeah. I think a lot of people cap first of all, so it's kind of difficult to sift through all of it. But beyond that, like sift, I sift. But I, like, keep in mind, I don't go on dates often. So if I'm going to do it, it has to be a pretty exceptional person. And that's, to me, in my opinion. So, like, I mean, you guys know my list. Like, looks is on there. I obviously want them to be, like, attractive to me. And head? Head is somewhere on there. I love ambitious, ambitious head. Ambitious head, yeah. But, <laughs> and enthusiastic head. But, but beyond all those things, like, I take my life very seriously. You will not probably be compatible with me if you don't do the same. And it, that doesn't mean you can't be fun. Like, me and Willie are very opposites, but we get along really well. So it's not necessarily a relationship. At least, like he's a he's a he's a friend. But the point is, is if you're very unlike me in that you spent over years of your life and you didn't do nothing productive with it, man, it's like, bro, how how I'm supposed to take you serious? How I'm supposed to take you serious? And you could sift through all that in dates. I'm not gonna lie to you. And when I bump into women who actually use that time and like they're on this radio show and they got this position to do this, that shit is hell attractive to me, man. It just is it is. the success or the, the effort that is attractive to you? It's the intentional, I care about how my it's life is going. It's the effort. Right. Okay. So let me make the most of my life because I'm on the same type of time. And not only that, I think that would be then reciprocated once you get in a relationship. 
Because if you never took your life serious, there's no way when we get in a relationship with a serious man that you're gonna take that shit serious. But it's it's also like a little bit of entitlement. Like if you party like for for like eight, ten years, it is what it is, but I didn't do those things. So there's gonna be like a there's gonna be a chasm that we just won't be able to bridge. And so I while I never say like if you smoke, I'm I'm not gonna date you. The reality is if you like to smoke a lot, like not that I would say don't smoke in the house. I personally don't give a fuck. But that's something you enjoy doing that I don't enjoy doing. Enough of those and we're just not compatible. You feel me? Not that you have to have similar interests. You don't have to like basketball, nothing. But we have to be able to enjoy each other's company. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I deal with a lot of women that see me as like a long-term solution um, rather than just a solution to like just, you know, companionship and things of that nature. That's a but, fact. The more I think about it, actually, the more and more I realize, like, I actually don't, like, you asked me earlier, but, like, how much, like, does she, does she, do I pay for things? I don't know when the last time I actually paid for, like, food. Like, like groceries pay, and shit, you saying? I don't pay for groceries, she does. What do you pay for? Just, the, like, rent and utilities. In my opinion, like, that's, mm, whatever. Yeah. It's everything else. Yeah. Well, that is the way larger portion. Yeah, it's, not it's not like, even, I, I get what you're saying. Two is yeah. probably about... 200 200 a week No it's not <laughs> oh, oh a week I thought you meant a month yeah, I was like yeah. 200 a month Like fuck 200 no. a week Rent 1400 um, Right Yeah No More than that It's more than that Where I live Yeah it's more than that So 2000 Yeah Yeah 2000 Yeah hey, get it right John You got, you got uh, My bad I feel my like bad. you're making excuses for it In your head Do you No but you But you asked me earlier though, I, mean, I, I know I don't but think you pay Like it, it, it is what it is You pay more You pay more no, I know, I know, you, I know, I, no, I agree what you said, but I pay more. No, I'm not millionaire. Oh. <laughs> but when you said, when you said, um, do I pay more? Yes, but then you followed it up with food, so, like, and I don't, like, I don't know when last time I actually paid Caleb, for food. Gas I actually don't. Hot. Do you not care about not like uh, if if you're in a relationship with someone or you're taking someone seriously? Not if you're just trying to fuck them. I guess like if you're just trying to fuck them, really nothing matters uh, except that they give great head and have like good pussy. But do you not care about like the history of? The person you're dating? I don't really care about about their whole past, no. Really? I'm a whore, bro. Oh, wow. I'm okay. a fucking whore. So okay. it's like, it'd be stupid for me to judge. So right. if you're a whore, why do you why do you keep trying to do the relationship thing? I don't. It just happens. They stick around. <laughs> they just, mm. they, they, they oh, linger. Just, so you never actually went out looking for a relationship? I did, and it was stupid. It's like, there's. I don't think the man should ever initiate the relationship. It turned her off. Mm. I'm like, I want you to be my girlfriend, and I could feel her dry up. And <laughs> <laughs> it's not good, bro. Uh, <laughs> I want you. <laughs> like she needs to. She needs to love you more than you love her. But like in your initial interaction Dude, with, with these the women that you fuck, you don't think that's true? What? In your initial interaction with these women you fuck, you're just thinking about fucking. You're not thinking like. Like, oh man, like no, I, I crossed my. Oh, she's a good girl, but like, no, nah, I don't want a relationship. Like, oh, I want her as one of my hoes. One of okay. my hopes. Yeah, she could stick around, but you like agree? I never. What do you agree? You just said earlier, though. We'll say it again. The woman needs to love the man more than the man yeah. loves her. We don't love the same way women do. Women are like, ha, ah, a poo, a poo, a boo bear, boo bear. You probably say cute like bullshit names. Not we used do you to have say, any like cute names for your girl? Yeah, of course he does, and he's not gonna I say, say baby. He that's says it. like cupcake and shit, bro. You're Dude, lying right you now. He's a fucking that. liar. Of course he does. No, no, lamb chop. You, you hit too, right? You call like, like lamb chop. <laughs> no, <laughs> beef brisket. No, no. I just say either bay, bay or baby. That's it. Beef brisket. <laughs> no, you don't have anything, bro. No, just bay. Just bay. Just bay. You don't say booby boo. <laughs> No Cuddlekins No Oh fuck. <laughs> Come so, over here so You crack crack this <laughs> Yo Dad is on a roll This podcast bro No I just say I just say babe bro That's it <laughs> <laughs> This thing is in me <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bro that's, that's it bro Lamb chops nah. Oh fuck nah, yeah, we, we don't love this They uh, love harder than we do you think so? Yeah, bro. The same thing. Like when I said, what you missed, all you could say was that she kept you grounded. Like she would say all these things about your character and your ambitions and how you're funny and stuff like that. They, but they, I think, I think they but, love us more than we love them. But, when, but if I were to speak of the ambitions of, of what she had, because she she has ambitions as well. But that's not why you're attracted to her. No, that is part of the reason why I'm attracted to her. Uh, how do you? I'm, 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 I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to give you the answers, no. and then you're not. Every time I give you an answer, you're like, "No, my that's not, that's, that okay. Um, what, what was the, what, what I say? Oh I said the ambitions. God. You really are attracted to ambitions like that? Yeah. You're attracted. I love yeah. ambition. 
Whew. But you didn't say that. When I asked you, you didn't say ambition until now. Is that but on your list? But, huh? Is that on your list? It wasn't yeah. until now. No, he's been just, on my he list. He just added that to it's this literally list. literally been in my top <laughs> no, five the entire no, time. No, he doesn't. He said grounded in Oreos. I don't think it was in your top five. It was. You sure? Yes. Now, John has a list now. He can look it up. Okay. But you asked me what I would miss, so I kept trying to figure out, like, you're talking about, like, what she provides in a relationship or characteristic traits, and you kept doing the thing, and then you pivoted and we kept going. You then start talking about other things that traditional women do, and I'm like, I just said the exact same thing, hey, and then you said no. Well, I was talking about how they, um, not necessarily cooking and cleaning, but how like embracing your feminine nature to become a strong woman for sure. But I, I wouldn't miss her ambitionness because I think that also is a motivation, a factor in my in my life as well. Sure, because if I, I mean, I can't, yeah, I, I can't. I don't think I could be in a relationship with a woman who like. Has literally nothing or wasn't trying to do anything in her life. Who sneak up when you when you talk to women is you are working against the tide. You are trying to convince them that what's good for them is an open relationship, which socially they know out of friends and their family is going to see that. So you're working against the tide. So your experience is going to have way more friction than the average experience. Therefore, when you say you've dealt with every type of woman, I really have. I really I, have. I believe you've dealt with a large variety of women. I believe you, bro. Like, uh. But what you need to try and do is uh, I, you make all these like bold generalizations from the experiences you have. But I feel you, like you agree with some of it. I feel like you I, agree. I do. With some I do. Of I do. Some of it as well. But, you, but you're not even you're, saying that part. You're just going ready to disagree because I'm saying offensive because stuff. I disagree more than I agree. That's yeah. why. <laughs> so what do you agree with uh, about everything you said so far today? What do you think? About I believe the there part? are. I believe there are differences between men and women. I'm, I don't think they're as large as you make them out to be. I think uh, you can generalize to a reasonable accuracy, but you're generalizing to like an absurd level right now to the point where it's like that's not the experiences i've had most of my experiences have been like overwhelmingly positive but I'm, I'm also a lot pickier about who i choose and i just think i have a different criteria than you you're saying you dated a variety of women but you're using well, if you i'm not mistaken an overall positive experience but you also say they'll have the same conversations about like oh you're a baby in astrology oh yeah so those are not women i date though Right, those are just women. I'm not just talking about women. Right I'm talking about women. I'm talking yeah, yeah, yeah. about all girls. It, the the girls that I actually go on dates with, for the most part, this is not entirely true. Like maybe set forty percent of them bring it up, but but it, it won't be something they truly believe in. Uh, it just be some so shit you're on this side. They're speaking bullshit. They're just talking nonsense. No, I think sometimes people grasp onto like you know things to give their life meaning and value. But but the point I'm trying to make is you are picking from the same criteria. So even if it's a different ethnicity or she has a different job or a different income level, as long as your criteria is not profoundly changed, you are still really just dating the same type of woman though. And they might have a different archetype, but again, is you're choosing from the same criteria. Just change up your criteria entirely. But I'm to, not. Well, when I'm talking about this, I'm not talking about women I date. I'm, I'm talking, you're about, talking about women, women in general. Yeah, yeah. But how, you, how would you know? You're just you're talking from your experience of women you've dated, though, right? Because that's just that's just evolution. That's just how it works. What? Like their job is to is to test men, is, is to make us more men, and so they have okay. to constantly nag us and test us because that's nature. They they need to pick out and <laughs> they need cool. to pick out and find the strongest man. That's why they do that. And every relationship a woman will do that. She'll like nag. What ways do you feel like you were tested? And you. That little stuff they say, little stuff they do to try to see, if, and then you have to be able to put them in their place. Give me one example. What she'll, the she'll, she'll fuck break, is this? That's never insane? happened to you. You don't know what I'm talking about. I like, just need an example. One example. It's it's passive aggressive stuff. It's like instead of telling you that to to roll down the window or like or that that she's cold. Or, she she won't ask you to roll down the window. She'd be like, I'm cold. You'd be like, why are you cold? Or sometimes they just won't say they're cold. They'll like shiver. Yeah, this, and they'll get upset. They'll start getting upset. Oh, and no, and just, now they're upset that you don't realize and you don't make the mental connection that she's cold and you need to roll down the window. So instead of her asking that because she doesn't want to risk the rejection, mm -hmm. she can't do that. She's just upset now. And you don't even know why. I'm not gonna lie. But I, she thinks she does that purposely. Is that common for you? That's evolution. That's, that's, she's testing you as a man. To she's, see trying to, if she's trying to see your reaction. Your reaction should be like, just, just, tell, just be straight up. But a lot of guys would be like, I'm sorry, boo bear, and then roll down the window. And then that guy forever is fucked. Bro. Wait, so what should the, the man do in that ends? situation? Just, what are you doing? Like, just, if, you, if you're cold, just tell me. Or like, yeah, just be straight you up. You would say that to you her. You just ignore her bullshit. You don't console her like, when she's well, upset. I do that. I do that. Like, if, you, if something wrong, just say it. Like, I, but yeah. if, if not, I'm going to just keep driving. But if you go, oh, I'm sorry, boo bear, then like, she's going to take control of the relationship and it fails. And they do that because women need to weed out the weak men. So you think women per per purposely sabotage? No, subconsciously. It's okay, they subconsciously. I they don't, they don't dated women that I thought were actually trying to sabotage the situation. No, but, but he's saying they sub subconsciously. They don't do it on purpose. It's not. It's, they, but they, you, can't, you can't blame them. That's just nature. That's just nature. 
So you think they subconsciously sabotage his relationships to see the weed out? No, the I don't weak. think it's sabotage the relationship. You could say it like that, but they 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 subconsciously test test yeah. you. They test. It's interesting yeah. you attribute a lot of it to like biology or like Fuck, evolution. We're all animals, bro. because we're no, same. but we acknowledged earlier in the podcast Fuck. that um, your ex ex was very different, but largely due to how she was brought up, and and it was a completely different culture and country. So. Maybe it's just that I I think that there's more merit in like how you grew up. I think how you grew up is gonna like is whether or not your father was in your life, whether or not yeah, like you know they why were American women are different. It's all the wokeness. It's all everyone trying to make everything equal and all the bullshit that we put up with. And we all playing pretend. You know, I think I think what happened. I think that fucking girl that he interviewed. Really pissed him off. And Which one? He, the one that like the, the one that he got went viral on. Okay. She pissed him off, and now that is like. Oh, Did like, you fuck her? No, hell no, bro. Ew, right, I bro. thought she wanted to fuck you. She did, but ew, you know. <laughs> but you wouldn't fuck? Her? Fuck no, no. Well, your standards, your dick has standards like that now? It always did. You just said you were a whore, by the way. Yeah, I'm a good whore, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but I, I think that you interact with too many people like that, or at least those are the people who have the, the staining power. Those are the women who have staining power in your mental. No, she's an extreme. So. But she's an extreme example of, like, the, the female mentality of today. Like, she's a good example of that. Like, her entitlement and her yelling and making faces and trying to, like, assert her power. But it's all bullshit. In, in reality, I think a lot of that is going to make her incompatible in working she's with, never, like, She's not going to have a happy relationship. Well, it's not impossible. She would just have to find someone. She'll be with a weak man. She's going she's gonna to be in a miserable relationship. <laughs> so how do you describe weak out of curiosity? <laughs> Uh, John's chuckling. I had to find out why in a moment. You don't think so? You think I'm just chatting shit right no, now? No, no, no. Y'all keep going. Okay. He keep wants going. to go because it's only been two hours. That's why. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, so y'all, what's a, what's y'all a, battle is never going to end. Yeah, I don't think it is. I, think I, think, I genuinely think he believes like, some of this shit. going to go back and forth because y'all are Me, you agree? He does You agree? agree? I thought you were making fun of me calling me like a misogynist. He didn't call you that. No. no call you, you agree that. with the shit I'm saying? No, there's some of this shit. You agree with I'm agree with everything. Not everything. Not everything. But some of this I agree with. But we're on the same page. We do kind of like the same thing. Okay. He does nothing we do. So anything you say... is He doesn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all going to just go back and forth for another 30 minutes. I, I'm, I'm that's not, also a sign of him saying, so wrap it up because it's almost been two hours. So that's I don't not want what he's saying at all. I don't know, that's not what I'm he's saying. Literally, if he you're li- saying that low, we could do that. Go Agent, ahead. he literally texts me the time. He's like, all right, I let's did. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Siri a bitch. Siri's a bitch. Oh, so strip club and pay to look at titties and shit. And things of that nature. But nah, um, what's a weak man to you? A guy who, oh, boo bear, you can do it. That guy. Like a guy that doesn't stand it, up. Who, a guy who be, compromises. A guy who compromises his happiness. It's a weak man. <laughs> Okay, and that's not just a relationship in your life. If you compromise your happiness, you're weak. You need to always put your happiness first. It's that simple. I, I actually agree with that, but I think, uh, I don't want to say that. I don't think all people should do that. Um, put their happiness first. Yeah, because there's times where it makes sense to not do that. Also, your happiness could be destructive. So let's be clear right. Because well. following well, okay, your happiness, maybe long term happiness. Dopamine is not happiness. I mean, like long term happiness. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That okay. should always be. Put first. I think when sometimes people think happiness, they think like the easiest Not route. Not the rush. No, I don't yeah. mean that. I just mean like in general. Okay. If you let your girl like sabotage you and play with and manipulate you, uh, I'm cold like that. If you let, then you're going to be unhappy long term. It eats away mm-hmm. at you. Those like old married guys, like you could see the wear and tear in their face. Mm-hmm. It's 50 years of that. Mm-hmm. Of pa- hey, uh, and you think, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you and think you could find like the type of girl you're looking for? <laughs> This nigga's a sick nigga. Man, <laughs> also, like, you knew that happened in his last relationship. He's like, I got tired of that shit. <laughs> Too many times of me editing and I had to hear that whole shit Boo back bear. and forth. No, but here's the thing, though. Some of the shit that you've said so far in this podcast, like how you take hours to console after an argument, there is no world I'm doing that. If you're creating a problem, I'll literally say and to your face, weak. you're that's, that's bored. Weak I'll tell I tell her, you're bored, and I get back to what I'm doing. But your boredom is definitely not going to interrupt my day. But that's I had, crazy. I had a, the, the open relationship, that's how I kind of fucked it up too, is I had a lot of like guilt sometimes because I knew she had to deal with a lot and she was putting up with a lot of my openness. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, let me like make you feel better because you are putting up with this. But okay. if you weren't doing that, then I would not have, have put up with it. It was like me like justifying like, all right, I'm fine because I, I have an open relationship. And that's like makes it transactional instead of putting your happiness Do you feel first. like you were weak like in any of your that, previous that makes relationships? It, yeah, yeah. I should, I should not have like... So you was a bitch. Yeah, bro. I had some, beta some bitch behavior, bro. You a beta bitch. You've been waiting the whole podcast to say that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I wasn't waiting. I wasn't waiting this podcast. Last podcast, when you said you sat on the bed and watched your girl get fucked, I knew then you was being a beta bitch. <laughs> okay. I it mean. was not this no, podcast. No, on a real note, you think in your last relationship or the one previous to that, you were not not just in moments weak, but overall, would you say you were weak-minded? No. Or, or do you think that you stood up for 
uh, yourself in a lot of those situations or, no, or, no, or your I, interests? I always do. The, the thing I didn't put up with was the, the arguing. I should have like tolerated mm-hmm. that less. But I mean, the, the sex party shit, that was my idea. Like I, I wanted to go to that. It wasn't, bro. Who cares, yeah. bro? He's experimenting, man. It is what it is. But he, he clearly wasn't. He was still strong because he, if it got to a point where he just thought it was yeah. too much, he. he ended I think the next time, time, next time, if we if we had stayed together and we did it again, there was actually supposed to be a party tonight that we didn't go to. Uh, but oh, I, y'all I, recently I, broke up. Yeah, like very like yeah, two weeks ago, something like that. Oh. How did you deal with that? I meant to ask you that. Like, how, how long did it are you, take? Are you like heartbroken? Oh uh, yeah, I was yeah. How long? Wow, it was. It's been two weeks. I mean, no, still am. And you know, okay. like, you know. Oh man, we doing any, We're not. We're not pushing any buttons, are we? Nah, bro. This is what it is. It, this is better. This is better than therapy. You need people to like call you. A, a, your therapist's not gonna call you beta bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you need that. <laughs> that that's why. Well, so, oh, how did you work through the heartbreak? I'm curious. Actually, yeah, just you know, working harder. I've been uh, fucking. I've been been full grind on YouTube recently. I noticed, yeah, full grind. Yeah, Yeah, you ain't been fucking no hoes though. Nah, fucking hoes too, but like for sure, dogging them. Yeah, running through the motherfuckers. Why are you saying it like Like the A gap? (laughs) You know, for sure. That's how you get over it, man. Right? Yeah. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, man. Steve, you're, you're in love with it already. Your solution yeah, of so fucking it. random women and just uh, diving into your work is, I mean, has that solved your previous breakups? I guess you just forget about it. No, the last one I was it. really down. Like when I was here a year ago, I was really down bad. For I like can see it in your face. I'm not that shit yeah, was brutal. See. Yeah. This one is like, uh, it's it's been kind of like, I, it, the reason I broke up has been a reason for a while. So it's easier mm-hmm. to kind of like rip off the band. Oh, okay, okay. So now it's going full grind mode. Indeed. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. Can you walk us through that actually? Like what you said, what did you say? In the breakup? Yeah. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Oh, that's too much? Yeah, I don't want to do Oh, okay. That. It just, uh, yeah, I said basically, like, it's just too much to deal with, you know? Just mm. too much. I, need, I need to focus on myself. Shit How like did that. you have that combo? Focus, that's, that's what I was asking for. Focus on focus myself. Focus on yourself. I, I, don't I, said, I don't think I said that. But, but that was the premise that was the, of mo- the That was the philosophy. On, okay. Yeah, that was the philosophy. And we, we broke up, like, four times, bro. Like, it was, like, even before I went to Mexico with Lee and John, like, it, and then we got back together. Like, it, it was, Dude, that couldn't make up my mind. Nah, Mexico was fun though, right? Yeah, it was my fun. It was. Yeah. It was what great, did y'all right? do? We were just vibing the whole time, bro. Vibing. Who's shit. we? Oh, like uh, Willie, John, John, uh, Willie's friends. My girl, me and my girl one. Oh, uh, mm. Willie, John's friends too. Uh, no, just John and uh, like Willie's friends. Oh, okay. Oh, John went alone type shit. <laughs> <laughs> They've been trying to get me to talk. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good man. You're a good man. You're a good man. Sneak up. I'm not saying nothing. You're a good man. Sneak up. That's great, man. Y'all had a great time, though. (laughs) Good, good, good. On that note, man, (laughs) hey, thank you, Sneak up, man. I'm happy you came out here, got some therapy, got that shit off your chest, man. Yeah. Um, I guess my my suggestion is just um, man up, man. You know. You going to the strip club or a club later? Uh, you're not coming? If it's an actual club, no. I'm trying to go to the strip club. Oh, I might be down. What's your club? I don't know. Where they at right now? Magic oh, City. Okay. For real? No. Oh. The lounge. But they've been left like 45 minutes ago, so okay. I'd be dead. So. Okay. All right. I'm still going to go. But fuck How it. much money are you going to throw tonight, man? We're not, it's not a strip club. You're going to drown yourself in sorrow? Com 600. Com 6. So. Type shit. Yeah. You make it back so on like, the next we'll episode. We never know if we don't make it. Yeah, what time is it? Yeah, we should be out. John's been trying to go for the last 45 yeah, minutes. Yeah, he is, yeah. You a horny yeah, look man, at this baby. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna. Yo, John can't last All one. Right, Nico, I, I thank you for coming I'm on this podcast. Since y'all start arguing, and you brought up a new subject. He said, "Yeah." So break it down to me. Tell me how exactly <laughs> how you really feel. <laughs> you didn't even hear me singing over here. Yeah, I heard you singing. Oh, you heard me singing. Yeah. Break it down. Well, uh, so thank thank you for being on the podcast, being vulnerable, man. I, I love that you think this is therapy, man. We can get some good content out of you, man. That's that's really nice. Does it actually help you? Like after you get out of here? Yeah. You feel like relieved? Yeah, it's good to talk about that. Yeah, I, I like talking about stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Doing it publicly is crazy low key. Is any, each any, person's any, different. Is there any I'm any pressing mind. any other pressing issue you just get off your chest just quickly? <laughs> just quickly. What do you want me to get off my chest? I don't know. Like legitimately there's something, something off what do you want me to No, there's something that we didn't to touch get me upon. Off your chest, nigga. <laughs> is there anything pre- what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Huh? What you mean by that? <laughs> Can he keep Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. He knows what he's doing. Yo. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. No, I'm actually just asking just quickly if there's anything we didn't touch upon. Is that a new tattoo? Not bad, that. Okay. Anyway, like, <laughs> anyway, is there something? What are you, what are you saying? No, just, I just, just in case. Just in case we missed something. What do you want me to talk about? No, I don't know. Yeah, bro. it's a black Tesla driving itself. 
<laughs> don't worry about it. Ask more questions. You don't need to ride home. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for coming out, man. You know, being vulnerable. Sure. Uh, any any final words, Agent? Uh, no, I enjoyed this podcast. That was crazy. John? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, we thank y'all for watching another episode of Peer to Peer Podcast. If there's anything you gain out of this, is just, you know, be open, communicative, and don't be jealous, man, because those are things that are just, just tearing us apart in this world. Uh, we thank y'all as always. Continue to support us. Click all the links in the description. Pretty sure there's some stuff that probably will not make the cut on um, on, on YouTube, so go check it out on Patreon. Peer to Peer Uncut. Uncut. Yes, down, sir, down low, because there's a lot of uncut, uncensored shit on this episode. Um, Don't make me look too bad in the cut version. Like, let me chill with the, you know? Um, oh, and, it's, no. and as always, man, if y'all want to keep updated on, on these this, these uh, great therapy sessions, make sure you hit the notification bell to join Noti gang 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 gang, 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 gang. And until gang. next time, we'll see you all later, man. Peace. Yeah.